champions are forged. Destinies are fulfilled. But, oh my god, bro. No. Right. My comeback stories never felt so good. Josh Ed. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh. yes! The stage is set with surprises at every turn. Oh! oh my god! God! <laughs> He's back! The best competitor. Absorber into your bosoms. But remember, oh, we come back. If you like music, film, and TV, then I know exactly what you need. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Quiz Club. The Quiz Club. Quiz Club. Quiz Club. To Quiz Club. Dante wanted me to send a quick video to y'all. Welcome you to the show. I really don't give a shit personally. Watch it, don't watch it, do what you want. Psych, welcome to Quiz Club! Welcome to Quiz Club, episode 32. Folks, we are we have 32 episodes. It is it is still insane, and I've got my little Santa hat because it is the most wonderful time of the week folks it's another quiz club episode i'm very excited we've got some guests from all around the, the country not really it's just two different states and we've got a guest in their car we'll get to them later. <laughs> we'll go we'll get to them later first i'm gonna go ahead and introduce our first contestant folks he is we would call the muhammad ali of quiz club today is his fourth quiz club appearance he only made his debut nine episodes ago Quiz Club 32. Uh, his kryptonite round is Crazy Rich Resume, and out of 17 competitors to ever play Pursuit of Points, he is fifth total in racking up those points, folks. It is a little bit of Muhammad Ali. Let's go, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, sir. That's good. Yourself? Good, good, good. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's 8 o'clock over here, you know, getting ready for that uh, Quiz Club at uh, After Dark. After dark, yeah, Ali, we're in the same state. Finally, we're we're, oh, we're yeah. uh, not too far away. Yeah, I guess you can indeed. you could say we're a couple miles away, depending on <laughs> where exactly we are. Indeed, indeed a, yeah. good, good to see. Good to see. How's uh how is how is your redemption to Quiz Club, Ben? Are you excited for today's episode, or are you kind of shivering in your boots there, sir? Well, you know, I always like to keep a to to keep a good mindset. You know, you never know you play your cards right you can always make a comeback but i'm just here to have fun so even if i lose uh, as long as i have a good time that, that's all that really matters as you should as you should ollie well i'm wishing you a good luck uh i will ask you uh a fan sent in question i haven't gotten to those in a while and i haven't done you in a minute uh ollie what is your faced favorite sorry faced what is your favorite fast food franchise fast food franchise yeah oh uh Taco Bell, I guess. <laughs> nice. Love the Taco I, Bell. I, those commercials I love, with the Chihuahua. <laughs> those commercials. Uh, I saw a commercial a couple of days ago about nacho fries, and I was like, damn, I want to go get some nacho fries. So yep, I want to get some exact. nacho fries. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Good luck, Ali. I'm going to go ahead and send you back to the room. Good luck to you today. Good sir. Folks, next, he is making his long-awaited quiz club return. He has the record setting. Uh, he has the record for the most points scored in a solo quiz club at 185. The next one next to him is 110. That is insane. Uh, he has the most points scored in quiz club minutes, 155, but his kryptonite round is breaking bank. Folks, he's rocking a Santa, oh, Santa hat with me. It is Mr. Ryan Wayne. How you doing, Ryan? Good. Um, I see the dangly bit and my inner cat is just... <laughs> Nice. Well, I'm doing well, pretty good. Minute. Pretty good. Yeah. It's been um, a minute since you, you've been on Quiz Club, for sure. It has. Um, Are you it's looking like to... last month. It's crazy it's time of year. For those who don't know, I hang up Christmas lights and stuff. And that is a usually a five-time-a-week um, job. You know, I'm up on roofs. I'm in trees. Uh, it's, a, it's fun. It's festive. And, uh, yeah, um, I enjoy it. Nice, nice. Staying warm, hopefully. Uh, I know it's uh, snowing, yes, out. Now I know. snowing out there in LA. It is over here. Um, but uh, but nice, Ryan. I, I, yeah, the last time we had you on, man. Well, it's been, it's been before that, I should say. You had that title that was stripped yeah. from you from uh, from the champ here, who's still the champion, Ryan. Yes, you she were is. the last person to hold the belt besides this champion. How does that make you feel inside? You know, it, it's something where 
I'm just happy one that I have a championship under my belt and that I have made like that goal for people to conquer. Caden always talked about passing 100. Now people do that. Now I've <laughs> set the bar. It's like, let's get to 200. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ryan definitely set the bar a little too high. I, I'm going to be honest. I think Ryan, well, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, take anybody out of it but that that record i don't think anybody's passing that anytime soon i will say that i will say that you never know well, you never know ryan let me go ahead and ask you a question since i haven't asked you a question in a while who is your favorite actor could be current could be past oh i have that uh i think i answered this one before but uh did adam you? driver i'm pretty sure i did i think you did okay who is your favorite actress no, i gotta know. say this may be a cliche um, answer, but Anya Taylor Joy has been really. You why know, did just... I know? Why did I think you were gonna say her? That's so weird. I because... genuinely was like, he's gonna say her. I feel because I said cliche. I mean, like there are so many great <laughs> actresses out there, but like I think one of the last films I saw recently was The Menu, and just her in that. Um, and then you know, just like a lot of different things over the years. I'm like, you know, she's definitely one. I have to give honorable mentions to, you know, Florence Pugh, Lupita yeah. Nyong'o, Michelle Young, um, stuff like that. But yeah. Definitely hopping on that bandwagon, folks. She won, or she's been nominated for the Golden Globes for the Best Actor or Best Supporting Actress. I forgot. Um, for The Menu. So Jake, Ali, Michaela, you guys' homework, if you haven't already seen The Menu. That movie's so good. I, I feel every artist needs to watch it. Yes, it's it, really, it's one of those every films. artist. Yeah, that's a good that's a good one. Every artist doesn't matter what you're doing, just every artist. I love that. Cool. Yeah. All right, Ryan. Very good luck to you, sir. I'm gonna send you back to the room. And next, folks, he is making his what feels like third, actually third or fourth quiz club in a row. Folks, he's he's just he's a workaholic, man. He is he is trying to claim that gold, folks. Today is his twelfth quiz club appearance that is tied for the second most i thought that was very interesting today he held yes unfortunately held those belts have so long has been passed on but he held the longest reign for the tag straps with caden at 132 days folks him and caden held that for roughly was that four months that's ridiculous uh and he has the most points scored in breaking bank and pursuit of points folks it is mr jeffers comma jake Welcome in, Jake. Nice. You muted good, sir, but nice. <laughs> oh, man. It's all good. We messed got the it up. We got the, it's like the scene in, in the, like a Rocky movie where it's like all silent and then you get revealed. It still works, man. It still works. How are you right, doing, cool, Jake? Cool. Oh, we're doing good. I'm excited to be here. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it today, but here I am. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. You were uh, a last minute addition. We love to see it. Uh, thank you for joining in there, Jake. Um, I'll give you I'll give you a question. I know I've asked you a lot of these questions, but I'll give you another one. Um, did I ask you your favorite band? Band? Oh, I don't know. I listen to a lot of lo-fi music. I like nice. the lo-fi girl playlist. She's. My I was favorite. gonna say. I think I saw that on your like Spotify rap. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. me some lo-fi. I love me some lo-fi. I like it. Cool. Do you have like a Do you have like a, a past band that you're really fond of? I used to really like uh, Cage the Elephant. Okay, okay. My uh, my brother really likes Cage the Elephant, so that's dope. Cool. Jake, do you have any words for your competitors of the champ today? I don't think so. I'm Coming try to in. grab it. Try, try to, grab, to it. grab it. Try to grab it. He was real close last episode. He's gonna try to reclaim it today, folks. Jake, I'm gonna go ahead and send you back to the room, folks. It is time. Fighting out of the final corner. She is. The only, she is only the second person to become a three-time quiz club champion, currently holding it for the longest single reign, 40 days. She has the best quiz club record, five wins, three losses, and she has the most points scored in Don't Kill My Box Office Mojo. Guess who's coming to quiz club? And the sound of quiz club, folks. And she is just comfortable in her champion's throne because she's playing quiz club in the car. It is Michaela. Welcome on in. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, there's some confusion, but we're figuring it out. <laughs> As you should, Michaela. We love to see it. We love to see it. I will say, Michaela, you are uh, now one of two people, 
one of two champions as well to play Quiz Club in the car while driving. Um, just to give you guys a little syntax, Julia played Quiz Club in the car, but it was parked, so it doesn't count. Uh, we can't ensure Michaela is being safe. Um, but Michaela, how does it feel? You're you're kind of flustered, right? You're someone pushed you off balance. But how does this feel? How how are you going to go into Quiz Club today, <laughs> knowing everything that's happened? I mean, it, it's a journey, man. I was uh, I worked uh, long shift today, and then. I have not eaten today either, so oh. playing on an empty stomach while driving is gonna be an experience for sure. But hey, I'll get home eventually, and then yeah. it'll be semi-normal. Of course, of course, Michaela, definitely get some food in your system for sure for some quiz club. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and invite everyone else on in here because, folks, welcome to episode Quiz Club 32, folks. We are here. We're gonna go ahead and j dive into our rules as always uh you want oh, to show oh. that competitiveness oh oh did i cut out for a second we Are good we good, we good. Oh, okay we're good good okay okay i, heard, I think oh, we're good i think oh. we're good i think we're good okay uh show that competitiveness have some fun as well no cheating no cheating uh making sure there's no answers on the street signs there michaela and no looking up answers yep. on the phones there gentlemen <laughs> Uh, you want to outwit your opponents and win the ultimate prize, such as the Quiz Club Championship. And gift cards. michaela has got some money racking up on that gift card. Let me tell you what. She's about to get a Merry Christmas soon. Uh, same as Jake. Ryan, you guys have, since you guys have won at least once, you guys have money on that gift card as well. Yeah. Uh, and our Joker points. Each competitor has a section of the quiz where they have do double points that go into effect. Uh, everyone gets a roll of a die. The champ gets to choose their round. We, we usually always start with our champ. So... Michaela, we have four rounds today. As always, fourth round's off limits. What round would you like double points in? Well, it's definitely not going to be round one. <laughs> uh, let's let's go with round. Ah, uh, let's go with round three because if something happens with round two, we'll just okay, that's figure okay, it out. Smart work. You know, rolling with the punches. I love to see it. Love to see it from the champ. There. All right. We'll see if it works out, Cotton. Can we get that movie reference? No? All right. We'll try again next <laughs> Sorry. week. Sorry. All right. Uh, we'll go. Who have we not had in a while? Ollie, I, don't, I think we've had you the. Was it Ollie and Ryan, or Ryan? Which one of you has been on the longest, farthest from us? I was I mean, on 29. The last game, the last game I, I remember it, was with Ryan, so that's. So. Nice. So, Jake, we're going to go ahead and roll you first, good sir. <laughs> Uh, as always, one, two, round one, three or four, round two, five or six, round three. You have rolled a three, so that is round two, Jake. Round two. It's okay. You get to get to sit for a second. Get to All sit cool. for a second. Cool, 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 All right. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oh, uh, Ryan, Ollie, Ryan or Ollie, who would like to uh, get their fate decided? I I like fate. Well, I All don't right. like fate, but right. I can only blame fate if things go wrong. All right, Ryan, <laughs> you have rolled a five. You will be sharing with Michaela. So I can oh, steal some it. for points, cool. <laughs> that is true, that is a fact, all right. I, Ali, I no, hate sharing no. rounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I could definitely see nobody hates, nobody like that. Uh, Ali, speaking of sharing rounds, you have the opportunity to take round one to yourself, or I can roll your fate and you could possibly share it three ways on round three or two. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> three ways sharing on round three? Um, <laughs> I I think I'll just I think I'll go for the round one the early lead. Okay, I'll try, I'll try right. to set an early lead. Ooh, early lead. Muhammad there Ali coming out the, coming out the gate. All right, folks. Well, this is all these double point round folks. Folks, this is a round that we have not seen in a very long time. This is going back to the old days of Quiz Club. It is pitch not so perfect. Now, how this is played, I will go ahead and speak. I won't sing them. I will speak a song from a movie. You have to guess Fuck. me what the song is called. What movie is this from, and who sings it? You can get points for either three of the answers. Uh, for this one, obviously, uh, Michaela, you don't have to write it down. Gentlemen, you guys can write it down. Um, Michaela, for this one, you could just tell me your guess. All right, okay. and I can I can I and I can repeat. I will say up to three times. I can repeat up to three times if you guys would like. Uh, any questions for this round? Oh, so, so like, um, uh, it's sorry, we can all gain points from it. It's not just yes. one person. All right. Correct. Yeah. So you guys can all get points um, from this. Uh, What's it? 
Uh, you, sorry, I think I lagged out when you were saying the the three ways of getting points. I heard uh, the song name, the person who sings it, and then what was the third option? Um, what it's from, the movie what it's from. from. Okay. So these are all, uh, to my knowledge, let me check. <laughs> to my knowledge, from films. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let me check. I have them right here. Yes, these are all songs from films. I will say it's are, not just. What's up? Are we doing this in rounds or just every today, single boys, person? Not... Sorry. You said what, Michaela? So, do we go one by one? Like you'll give me a song and then give someone else a song, or are we all doing the one? So you guys are all doing one. So, but I'll go each oh. individually. I'll get your answers individually. So I'll go, Michaela. Answer Jake, answer Ryan, answer blah, blah, blah. Um, gotcha, so you gotcha. guys will all get, yeah, you guys all get the points, or get the opportunity to get points. Uh, how the points work for this one, just a refresher. Uh, if you get the song title correct, three points. If you get the person who's singing it correct, three points. And if you get what it is from, three points. Ollie has the chance of walking out with 18 points per song. So keep keep in the back of the mind that we got some double points here activated. Uh, also, if you get all three, you get nine points. So points all around, points all around. All right. Uh, are you guys ready for the first song? Yes. yes. All right, let's do it, folks. Okay, first song. Lonely and forgotten. Never thought she'd look my way. And she smiled at me and held me just like she used to do. Like she loved me. When somebody loved me. What song is that called? Who sang it? And what's it from? I can repeat it again if you'd like. So by who sang it, are we doing the actor who sang it or the name of the character? Uh, that's a little bit wishy-washy. If you give me a, like, for example, for example, let's say, it, let's say one of the songs was um, Just the Two of Us from Austin Powers. <laughs> and okay. And you gave me Mike Myers or someone who wrote or who who else sang the song, which is like, I don't know. I think it was just Mike Myers. But if it was someone else who sang the song or wrote the song, I will take the points. For, I'll give you the points for that. Okay. All right. I'll say okay. it again. Lonely and forgotten. Never thought she'd look my way. And she smiled at me and held me just like she used to do. Like she loved me when she loved me. When somebody loved me. Depressing. <laughs> My love life. <laughs> That's smart. Okay, Michaela, we'll go you first. Okay. Um. So it's when when she loved me by Sarah McLaughlin from Toy Story Two. Okay, Brian. All right. I met. I might have messed up the title. <laughs> when somebody loved it, loved me. I don't know the singer's name, so I just put Jesse from Toy Story 2, and obviously, <laughs> Toy Story 2. Nice. Okay, okay. Jake? Uh, <laughs> well, I said Toy Story 2. I said uh, Forgotten Love, and I said Carrie Underwood. Nice. <laughs> Carrie Underwood. Okay, okay. Ollie? Uh, I pulled a blank on this one, unfortunately. My brain was uh, in What'd slow-mo you, I, today. I can't read it. I can't read it. What'd you <laughs> say? There's, there's her face. It's a blank. It's a blank. Oh, actual it's a blank. blank. It's a blank. Okay, okay. Well, I can't reveal. Yeah, I, 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 I... it's all good, Ollie. It's all good. I can't reveal. It was from Toy Story 2. It was uh, Sarah McLaughlin or Randy Newman. I would have taken either. And it was when she loved me. So that is three points to Jake, six to Ryan, nine to Michaela. Very good. I story, will say, guys. I put when somebody loved me, not when she loved me. Yeah, so I, I did dock it because it was not the correct title. So No, so that's singer, what I was saying. So I have three, right? Yeah, I uh, know you have six. Because I gave you, uh, you said Toy Story 2. Oh, oh what was my me, second one? You didn't give me, you didn't give me the, the singer. That's right, that's right. Yeah, well, yeah. I really need Jill here, Jake. <laughs> Michaela? <laughs> this, this, this song was on my wrapped, my Spotify wrapped. Oh, wow. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Sorry. Three to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Three to Jay. Nope. Nine to Michaela. Okay. Nice. All right, folks. Welcome, welcome back. A little slight delay, but we're back. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next song. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next song. The sights, the sounds. They're everywhere and all around. I've never felt so good before. 
this empty place inside of me is filling up I simply cannot get enough. What's it from? Who sang it? And what is it called? Can you repeat it one more time? Yes, yes I can. The sights, the sounds, they're everywhere and all around. I've never felt so good before. This pl empty place inside of me is filling up. I simply cannot get enough. Oh, man. I don't know what that is. I, I know it. All you right. do? I, give you, I do. I'll give, guys, I'll give you guys 15 seconds, and I'll start taking answers. All right. Make sure you write down your answer as well so you're not cheating and taking anybody else's answers. All right. Oh, three. Can, sorry. Two. Is there any way you can repeat the last two? Just the last two lines, just to make sure. Please. Unfortunately, Michaela, I did say it three times. I, I cannot. I know. Okay. I cannot. Finish what you were writing, though. Put your pencils down. Okay. Pencils down. Put your arms in the air. Make sure nobody's cheating. All right. <sighs> All right, Michaela. Let's let's see what you got first. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. Is it? What's this from? I don't know who the singer is, but from Nightmare. Okay. Before okay. Christmas. Jake? Me? Uh, I think it's from The Little Mermaid. I said above the sea. Oh. I don't know. But what's this sounds really good for The Little Mermaid. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ryan? So, I think Michaela got it. So, it's what's this? Jack Skellington slash Danny Elfman. Nightmare Before Christmas. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll I can leave. remember the voice actor. Well, it's a different singer than the voice actor. I believe Danny Elfman did the singing. Yeah, but he didn't do the voice acting. Yeah. But for okay, I'll, we'll go all these answers and then I'll Sorry, I'll, sorry, I'll, sorry. <laughs> Ollie. Um, I, I didn't uh blanking once more. I, I put can't get enough as the song name, but that that's all that's all unfortunately. It's all good. It's all good. We all I'm, we still come back. You know how Jake's saying goes, we still come back. Well, I will confirm. Indeed. It was from the nightmare before Christmas. It was what's this? And it was sung. By Danny Elfman, you had the you had the right you had the correct voice actor Ryan because there was another voice actor for the uh, for the voice of him. But yeah, very good stuff. Very good stuff. That is six points to Michaela, nine to question. Ryan. What's up? Is it cheating if I write down a couple of the lines while you're saying it? No, no. Okay. You can write those down. That's okay. Okay. All right. Next song. Next song. All them smiles, homie. I turn up the frown. All them decorations, I tear them down. You can ask Max. I don't play around. What's the song called? Who sang it? And what movie is it from? <laughs> I'll say it again. I'll say it again for the second time. All, the, all them smiles, homie. I turn up the frown. All them decorations, I tear them down. You can ask Max. I don't play around. Three two, one, put your fingers and your pens and pencils down. All right, Ali, we're going to start with you, good sir. Um, I think I remember Ma the name Max. I went with uh, the Grinch who stole Christmas and then, uh, uh, oh, the way, uh, Jim Carrey. I don't know. Okay. Throwing a guess out there. All right, okay. Do you have a, I guess you said all three of them, right? Oh, do you have a song title name? No, I did not have a song title name. I was all blanking right. on that part. All right. All right. Michaela. I, I, like, this my notes, but <laughs> I just have uh, the Grinch, and I just know from Max. Yeah, Max exactly. Grinch Max, game. right? <laughs> That's the only that reason exactly why me I too, Max. So your, your guess is for the Grinch, is that for the movie, or is that for the song title name? No, that's for the movie. Okay. And that's all you, you're throwing out? Uh -oh. Well, I, I have a guess for the yeah. movie, but I didn't write it in time. Or oh. for the song, but I didn't okay. write it in time. So. All right. All right. Ryan? This is probably wrong. So, I put The Grinch. You can't see. The, the <laughs> Grinch. The 2018 or 19 one. The one with Benedict Cumberbatch. The singer, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> The song <laughs> Tear Them <'em> Down. <laughs> nice, I only okay. watched it once. It's kind of erased from my mind because I just saw the mean one. 
Oh, okay. I got it's it. a terrible yeah. movie. <laughs> all right, all right. Jake, it's super fun. Um, yeah, I said The Grinch 2018, Benedict Cumberbatch. I said turn up the frown. Turn up the frown. Okay. Well, I will confirm. It's going to be three points to Michaela, Ryan, Jake. It is from the 2018 Grinch. Mm. Uh, it was Tyler, the creator, and the song title was You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Oh, okay. That was going to be yeah. my song guess. That was it. Oh, the yeah, title was, you're a mean but one. That was a little tough one. I threw you guys a curveball and threw the Tyler, the creator version. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. All right. Next movie. All right. You ready? Right. Next yeah. song. Sorry. Next song. All right. Children sleeping. Snow is softly falling. Dreams are calling like bells in the distance. We were dreamers not so long ago. But one by one, we all had to grow up. I'll say it again. Children sleeping. Snow is softly falling. Dreams are calling like bells in the distance. We were dreamers not so long ago. But one by one, we all had to grow up. Depressing. Two, one. All right, stop drawing. Stop writing. Stop guessing. All right, Jake. Jake, we'll go to you first. Uh, 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 uh. I said <laughs> the Polar Express. I said Tom Hanks. I said snow is softly falling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Okay, so I also put Polar Express, and I put If You Just Believe. I know that's not the song. And for the singer, I couldn't guess, so I just did the safest, best pop possible, Mariah Carey. <laughs> Mariah Carey. <laughs> not the voice it. singer, but it's, it's out there. Nice, nice. Michaela? So I said Polar, Expla Polar Express. <laughs> I think Believe. And then I put Josh, but I couldn't remember his last name. Hutcherson. Okay, okay. Yeah. Josh Hutcherson, nice. <laughs> Josh from AMC The Grove. Josh. All right, Ali. Uh, I just put the title of the song, Grow Up, uh, No Movie, No Singer. Okay, all right. Wait, sorry, what was your I guess? I'm so I, sorry. Say it again? I just said grow up. Grow up. Grow up, mother... All right. <laughs> uh, I will confirm that was from the Polar Express... It was Josh Groban, and it was the song Believe. So, Michaela, since you said Josh, I give you a point and a half for that. I give you an extra <laughs> point and a half, since you got his first name right. Since you got his first name right. This is the last song for this round. All right. Sure. All right. All right. I see that you're hurting. Why'd you take so long to tell me you need me? I see that you're bleeding. You don't need to show me again, but if you decide to, I'll ride into this life with you. I won't let go until the end. I'll say it one last time. One last time. I see, Thank you. I see that you're. I see, I see that you're hurting. I am. It takes so long to tell me you need me. I see that you're bleeding. You don't need to show me again. But if you decide to, I'll ride in this life with you. I won't let go till the end. All right, I will give you guys 15 seconds to write down your final guess. I'm going to go get me a good old sweet chocolate. I don't know why I was in the craving for a chocolate. <laughs> it's a Christmas time. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Stop your guesses. Stop writing, Kayla. <laughs> Stop writing, y'all. Okay. Kayla, I'm going to go to you first. Okay. <laughs> So I think it's – sorry, my handwriting is not uh, – hold my hand. I didn't get – I know exact. I know what the artist is and what the movie is, but I didn't have time to write it down. Okay, okay. You said hold my hand? Yeah. Okay. Ollie? And I know, I know exactly where it's from, but I didn't write it down. Fat zero. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, well, wonderfully, this round, this round is going great. <laughs> we love to see it. We love to see it. Uh, Ryan? All right, so this is a Hail Mary beyond all Hail Marys. I know it's not it, but this song reflects my situation. So uh, it's totally effed, <laughs> sung by Jonathan Groff from Spring Love's Awakening. Spring Awakening. Nice, That's okay. how I feel right now. All right, I see it. Because I, I don't know what it's from. All right, Jake? I said, I won't let go to the end. Song name. It's a Justin Timberlake. And I said... Fast and Furious 7. 
Nice. Okay. R.I.P. Okay. Paul Walker. Okay. Is it is it <laughs> "Hold My Hand" by Lady Gaga from Top Gun? That would have been it. Yep. Uh, that is oh, three, points, three points dang. to Michaela. Let me go ahead and add up those points for you guys, and then we'll dang jump it. into it. I just didn't write it down. It is all good. Let me add up those points. Hey. Very good stuff, you guys. Oh. Oops. I'm I've seen. Uh, I want. I really want that one to win. Uh, well, we'll probably get nominated for the Academies, but definitely, it's already nominated for Golden Globes. Yeah, it, yeah, but I saw that it was nominated for Best Picture. Song. I saw it was Best Picture. I thought that was insane. Very good stuff to them. Mm -hmm. Right. Ooh, this is getting a. This is a close episode. Okay. All right. <laughs> I say that. Watch us all get in the, the hundreds next. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. Folks, at the end of round one, as the points stand, Ollie, no worries. We come on back. You know how it goes. We come on back. Uh, in third place, it's Jake with six. No worries, Jake. No worries, Jake. We come on I, back. You know how it is. Oh, I'm, I'm so nine. sorry. Nine. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Woo! See, I need Woo! Jill. I need Jill, yo. Okay, I messed up everybody's points. Hold on. Yeah, you messed up mine. I actually had like 40. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me uh, yeah. a run for for worst at pitch not so perfect. I, I held the record <laughs> before this episode. Okay, let me not let me very good that. with songs. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Make sure you guys you guys also for these easier to count rounds. <laughs> Keep track of your points. Uh, I hope I I hope I got yours. Okay, so Jake third with nine. Ryan updated eighteen. Yeah. First is Michaela with twenty eight. Point five. Very Whoa, good okay. stuff, Whoa. team. Okay, all right. Okay. It's so looking frustrated pretty cool. with me for the last round, but I knew good. it too. <laughs> it's all good. Well, we are going to storm right into our second round, which is Jake's double point round, folks. It's a round that I really enjoy. A lot of people enjoy it too. It's making this comeback. It is the joy yeah. of drawing. Now, how this one is played? Pretty simple. Pictionary. Uh, you guys will all get to draw once. Uh, Time-wise, we're only going to be, be able to draw once. Uh, the person who's drawing has to reveal to the room. Whoever guesses the correct guess, that person and the drawer get five points. So Jake could get ten points per per drawing, really, if he guessed everyone's correctly. Yeah. So he could walk yeah. out with uh, – there's four for you guys, 40 points coming out of here. Mm. Very good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Who would like to draw first? Okay. Ryan. All right. Ryan, I'm going to go ahead and – uh, message you. I'm gonna go ahead and text you your. Yeah, I'm gonna get a sharpie. Since it's yes, go get a sharpie it. so we can see it. Uh, also, Ryan, give me a number one through four. One. All right. Almost fell out my damn chair. <laughs> also, you guys will be guessing. Uh, I always wait until whoever goes, whoever decides to go first, to reveal the category. You guys will be guessing Christmas songs, Christmas oh, song no. titles. Oh no. Oh jeez. <laughs> No cheating. All right, Ryan, I'm going to go ahead and send it over now. Once I know that you've got it, I will start your 30-second time. All right. All right, your 30 seconds starts now. Man, I'm just trying to think. Oh, right. <laughs> this is going nice. to... All right, Ryan, stop drawing, please. Okay. Jake, where you at? I'm just, I, I'm just trying to name every song I know. All right. This is... All right. This is a buzz-in as well. I will, rev I will uh, highlight Ryan whenever he is ready. Uh, first one to buzz in. Give me your guess. Let's see it, Ryan. Jake. Jake. All I want for Christmas is you. That is correct. Yeah! That is five points nice. to, to <laughs> Ryan. Ten points to Jake. Very good stuff. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Who would like to go next? I'll get it over with. All right, Ali. You are next. Pick a number one through four. Good sir. Uh, three. Three it is. Okay, this better be a text. song I actually know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is about to be real fun. All right. Uh, I will give you uh, the third song. Let me send it to you now. Oh, I actually know this song. Cool. We're good. All right, starting now. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good start. Good start so far. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> really, I love the suspense. All right, Ali, time is up. Time is up. Good, sir. Stop drawing. Stop drawing. Okay. All right, Ali, I'm going to go ahead and reveal uh, your, 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 your side. I'm going to solo you. Uh, folks, buzz in if you think you know it. All right. This is a terrible drawing. I'm at. I'm, I'm really bad. <laughs> I told you. Good. I'm bad at drawing. Good, it's a good drawing. I feel like I, after like a minute, I'd get it. After a minute. <laughs> 
Any Jake? guesses? Jake? I'm going to go Silent Night. Not Silent Night. <laughs> That's close. Ryan or Michaela, any guesses? Um, this is tricky. Five points on the board. Ollie could get his four points. Folks, Let's help go. him out. <laughs> Let's go. I'm trying. All right. I will Ryan. Need to Ryan? 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> it's not 12 days of Christmas. Michaela, throw out a guess. Absolutely no clue. Uh, <laughs> jingle all the way. All right. Ollie, do you want to go ahead and tell the room what it was? <laughs> Baby. It's cold outside. Uh, it's baby, it's cold outside. I see it now. I see those it are, now. Those are snowflakes. Uh, okay, okay. The, the, I thought those, those were no doves, and then I thought are, turtle dove. Those are the worst <laughs> snowflakes known to man. I don't blame you people. I don't blame I, you guys. My immediate thought was waving through a window from Dear Evan Hansen, but that's obviously <laughs> that's, not that's obviously not a Christmas song. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. All right. You should uh, give him a, should give like, a minute. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jake, okay. Yeah, sorry there, Ollie. All right, Jake, one or, or number one or two? One. All right, number one. Okay. Is it a text? I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and text All you right. your guess. All right, once you've gotten it, go ahead and your time will start. Three, two, one. All right, Jake, pen's down. Sharpie's down. All right, Jake, I'm going to go ahead and solo you, folks. Buzz in. Oh, Ryan. Ryan? Santa Claus is coming to town. That is 10 nice. points to Jake. Another five to Ryan. Do you Very, good do do? Very good stuff, you guys. Very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Jake, you didn't let me yell. Let me finish. I'm sorry. I started, I'm so <laughs> excited. Like, this is a good drawing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it is all good. It is all good. All right, Michaela, you will be going last. I will give you my last song. She got it. Yep, I know she got it. All right, 30 seconds starts now. So bad. Three, no one's gonna get this. Two, one. Okay, Michaela, I'm gonna go ahead and solo you. Oh my god! First one to buzz in, folks. First one to buzz in. This is not. No one's gonna get this. Ryan. Uh, no, Ali. Ryan? Damn it. Ryan. Uh, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. That Holy is five crap. points to Michaela. I don't know how you got that from that. Five. She to was Ryan. fuzzy, and then I was the like, whiskers. <laughs> it's, the, "It's the whiskers." <laughs> he was fuzzy. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Right. I have no Ooh. idea how to do that. Hey, it the the point of language is to get one idea across to another. So you succeeded. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you did you did that. You did that. All right, cool. Ooh, we got a race. We got a race it's for first round. Right it's very close. All right. Uh, as 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 the points stand, I should say. Fourth <laughs> place. It's Ollie with zero. Don't worry, man. We come on back. We come on back. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it, because comebacks always happen. We've got to set a record today. <laughs> <laughs> In third place, it's Jake with 29. Uh, right in front of him. Ryan with 33. Right in front of him. Am I beating him by half a point? 33.5. So first place has three and a half. Yeah, three and a half points within first and third place Dang. it's all still to play for but as always before we jump into our um before we jump into our third round we have our christmas torment this yeah. is our christmas movie showdown now ali uh ryan you guys haven't been on in a minute but uh this is updated have you guys been here we, you guys were here right when we started this yeah. yes and i've okay, seen good. the uh updated one yeah okay that's good. it good 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 yes so this is updated so far uh last episode bad santa be Polar Express, uh, which Thank you I'm, for still, that. I'm still baffled. Well, I rewatched it. Uh, I Ryan, think it was Sunday night. It won a two to one vote, and it was because two one competitor didn't watch Bad Santa, and the other competitor didn't watch Polar Express. <laughs> so, nice. It, it, yeah, that's how it goes. Um, yeah, so Bad Santa uh, beat Polar Express. Rudolph beat Santa Claus. Elf beat Edward Scissorhands. Uh, Christmas Vacation beat Holiday, and then we had the Scrooged. Home Alone 2, which was tied since episode 2 or whatever of this one. Uh, Home Alone 2 moved on. Uh, so today we will be doing the bottom half of the bracket. It's going to be Die Hard versus Claus. Klaus, sorry. Love Actually versus uh, the 2000 Grinch. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas versus Gremlins. Home Alone 2 versus Miracle on 34th Street. So that is, that's our lineup today. Cool. All right. Um, just off, of, off the off chance of just looking at it, Ryan, Ali, what do you guys think about how the bracket shaped out? So um, I feel Christmas Vacation and Elf are definitely in the right place. Um, 
I feel bad, Santa. In normal circumstances, it shouldn't be here, but because it's one of my favorites, I'm happy it that really it's here. It really sneaked its way to the third round. Uh, I'm glad that Rudolph is in the right place. Um, yeah. As for everything that has risen, I feel like Nightmare and Grinch, uh, it was just two titans that just yeah. had to duke it out and trying to watch or trying to look for the other ones. Um, some of the other ones I haven't seen, so I can't fully say which one was right or wrong. Okay. Then again, that's art in general. Um, except the mean one. Wait, why is the mean one not on here? Because <laughs> it's the worst movie alive. All right. Um, yeah, as always, we're going to go ahead and vote for our uh, tournament. Uh, as as we've kind of said previously, if you haven't seen both, we won't, we won't count your vote if it's going to tip the balance. We'll only count it for fun, but we won't ki- count it if it's going to tip the balance. Uh, which is the reason why Miracle on 34, which is why the bottom right corner, Jake has just thrown out like, I'm the only one who's seen these. <laughs> so thank you, Jake, for those. I've actually done my homework uh, today. All so right. I'm excited. I'm actually able to to play in with you guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start from that bottom right, actually. Let's do Home Alone 2 versus Miracle on 34th. Now, actually, funny enough, this is the one I didn't watch. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> you're in trouble then. I, uh, I did not watch Miracle on 34th. Uh, personally, I, okay, here's my, I, I will say this off the bat. I, it's not like my vote matters in this, in this case. I did say I liked Home Alone 2 more than the first one. I think I take that back. I prefer the first one over the second. That's all I'll say. Uh, so my vote doesn't count. Um, Jake, you're the, you're the expert down here. What well, do well, well, I don't think Home Alone <laughs> 2 should be there anyway. Oh, uh, dang, I, that's right. I, I think that Miracle on 34th Street is a great movie, especially the OG one. Second one, maybe not so much. Um, So I think Miracle on 34th Street. Okay. All right. I'm definitely going to add that to my watch list for Christmas. Uh, Ryan, what do you think? Have you seen him? I have seen Home Alone 2. If I have seen Miracle on 34th Street, it was way too long ago for me to truly remember it. Okay. All right. Michaela? home alone too for me uh it's my favorite of the home alone movies <laughs> okay okay ollie have you seen both unfortunately it's going in a tie because i haven't seen your call <laughs> 34 <Street. laughs> okay this is going to be this is going to make it interesting because next episode that'll be the that'll be a tiebreaker and I'll, I'll have watched it by then so we'll see how that goes all right that'll be a tie so that'll be weighted uh let's let's move on to the left side bottom uh love actually versus the 2000 grinch uh, just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> it's my favorite Christmas movie of all time. It's got to be The Grinch. Uh, I tried to watch Love Actually, and apparently they took it off of Netflix because it was on Netflix at one point, and they took it off. So I was pissed. So I couldn't watch it last night. I was gonna watch it last night, but I couldn't. Uh, but it's it's definitely Jim Carrey's Grinch. Uh, if I were to vote, uh, Ali, what do you say? Grinch. Nice. Okay, okay. I watched that movie so much as a kid it's burned into my memory <laughs> okay okay Michaela Love Actually has an amazing ensemble cast uh, I just have to put that out there uh, but it's it's gonna be the Grinch I actually watched it last night at the the Christmas party um, oh dang that's cool Ollie was dressed up as the Grinch it was that's great that's so funny uh, <laughs> but um I didn't know that that was directed by Ron Howard. Yeah. 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 I, that just, his daughter was in it as well. Yeah. I, I, I saw her in it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely the Grinch for me. Yeah. Okay. Ryan. Haven't seen love actually yet though. I'm trying to because uh, Andrew Lincoln is in it. Yeah. yeah. The walk, of true. walking dead fame. <laughs> yeah. But before that, this, <laughs> Yeah. but if I were to, cho- if I were able to, the, the Grinch is just something that I remember seeing it in theaters. I would watch it at non-Christmas times. Um, I was a kid, so like I would just watch it over. It's a fun movie. Nice. Okay. Jake? Oh, it's definitely The Grinch. Um, yeah. You're the comedy guy. You're the comedy pretty guy. Pretty much anything in that movie. Yeah. yeah. Of course, of course. Cool. Grinch will be moving on to the semifinals. That's going to be a fun matchup. Uh Let's jump up real quick on the on that side. Now, Die Hard versus Klaus. Watched both. <sighs> Here's my take. <laughs> Here's my take. So I had a lot of fun with Die Hard. It's action, right? Everybody has fun with Die Hard. Personally, I don't think it's a Christmas movie. Now, here's my reasoning. 
the cl- just because the climax takes place during Christmas doesn't make it a Christmas movie, yo. That's why personally, I don't think Edward Scissorhands should be on this bracket. But what about be- It's a Wonderful Life? Uh, I, I'm gonna be honest. I hate. I hated that movie. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it real. I hated that movie. That's just me. And I actually really love like older films as well, like old vintage 50s, 60s films. Like we watch them in film class, love them. Uh, but I just I can't get past that. Um, for Christmas movie showdown, although Klaus wasn't my favorite, I got to go Klaus. And the reason being is I just don't believe Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I get this conundrum. Everybody's like, Die Hard's a Christmas movie, Die Hard's a Christmas movie. But we are getting to the point where the memes are starting to the bad Santa is getting to the third round needs to needs to <laughs> slow its momentum. The people have spoken. <laughs> um, Listen, Dante, if you mess with this one, it'll be another polarizing result. <laughs> <laughs> it might, it might. Uh, but I, I gotta go Klaus. Uh, I didn't enjoy it too much. Um, I actually kind of preferred Arthur Christmas over uh, Klaus, but that's just how the bracket shaked out. Uh, my vote's going to Klaus. Uh, Jake? Um, like, Dante, I know you don't think it's a Christmas movie, <laughs> right? And that's fair, because it's not, I mean, it's not necessarily about Christmas, although it's happening at Christmas time, but the yeah. fact that it's become such a meme, like, in popular culture, that it is a Christmas movie, and has been adopted by many families during <laughs> Christmas, makes it a Christmas movie. Um, the meta. Die Hard, yeah. Die Hard. Okay, okay. Ryan? I have not seen Klaus yet, so I can't vote. Dang. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm sorry. The Titan of Die Hard might fall today. Michaela? Uh, Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Therefore, I am disqualified and I'm voting for Klaus. Ooh, okay. Ouch. Ali, are you bringing Die Hard back? Are we. Listen, listen. Listen. In my opinion, um, what a Christmas movie boils down to is it's a movie that's set around the time of Christmas, of course. It's, that's a staple. Um, and it's about family. And what else is Die Hard about but family, right? It's about a man fighting for his family. It's about a, it's about a man trying to reconnect with his family. That's a classic Christmas movie story. And it's set during Christmas. So I got to go Die Hard. Yeah. All right. The people right, have right. spoken, Dante. People have spoken, but it is a two-on-two two tie. So that means... I haven't, that's I haven't seen you, Klaus, so I can't Dante. vote. That's true. That is, that is true. So because of that, it is a two-on-two. Two. So uh, Die Hard versus Klaus will be, will be one of those movies <laughs> that gets weighted. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I have to win this thing. And watch this, Klaus, so I can break the tie. Okay. Yes, yes. Watch Klaus. Watch it's Klaus incentive to win now. I was just going to have fun, but now I have to win. Sorry, Michaela. You know what? Oh, no worries. You know what? Ali, I don't think I've ever done this on Quiz Club. Some people what? have done it. I haven't done it. I'm going to change my vote. I'm going to give it to Die Hard. And the reason right. being, okay. you, had, you had a great argument, Ali, which was it's about family. And that is his whole motive through the movie is family. No, um, like I said, that's what a Christmas movie is. Okay. It's, it's, right. at, the, I, at the end of the day, a Christmas movie is about family. Like we'll Spencer send... last year with Kristen Stewart. <laughs> I haven't seen I'm this. I'm surprised so Christmas with the Cranks isn't on this list. That's true. I'm surprised yeah, a Christmas right. story that's isn't true. either. Like, there's true. a lot of movies that aren't on there. That is rather surprising. Four Christmas with the Cranks would have been a good one. Yeah. Yeah. What about all the Hall- Hallmark Christmas movies? <laughs> Oh no, we don't count those. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We don't consider those. What about the homework. Princess Switch? I know. Like, what the heck? What about Jigsaw? All right. Batman so, Returns. Yeah, so, die- <laughs> so Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> so Die Hard. That was funny, Ryan. I will say that was funny. Uh, die Hard will be moving on. Uh, that is going up against my favorite Christmas movie. So I'm so sorry if I offend y'all next week. Um, that will be moving uh, no on. No worries. Last uh, rap ra- ra- is where it dies. <laughs> dies hard all right uh next next side of the bracket uh it is charlie brown christmas versus gremlins uh jake i apologize i haven't seen gremlins um so I, I know i can't vote i apologize this is where i horribly flunked this test um so i can't vote ali what do you say uh charlie brown okay all right Michaela. 
I mean, if I'm sticking with my argument of Die Hard, I, Gremlins is a night Christmas movie. Mm. So I'm going to go with Charlie Brown. Okay. Oh. She gets the Mogwire for Christmas. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, Ryan, is it about family? Have, is it about Ryan, have you, family? <laughs> it is about Ryan? family and pets and love. That's true. You're right. You're and right. the monologue where the his girlfriend's yeah. dad dies in the chimney as Santa. You're right. Mm-hmm. Ryan, I single? mean, I'm saying that, but I'm still going to vote for Charlie Brown Christmas. Ooh. <laughs> Jake, Jake, do you have Whoa. an argument to, to switch anyone over? Okay, so I watched both of them today, and I thought I was gonna go with Charlie Brown Christmas, but I'm not. Um, the production value as a movie for Gremlins is, even though I mean it's a Steven Spielberg film, but like is very high, and there's a lot to it. Um, and I don't know something about the religious tones of Charlie Brown doesn't do it for me. Uh, but also, like, there's this thing where Charlie Brown's depressed at the beginning of what, as he always is, and that, you know, that, that he doesn't really get resolved in the end. Uh, I know that's kind of his character thing, but like, Grillman's also talks about that too. That there's a lot of people like that are kind of depressed during the holidays, and I know it's like absolutely ridiculous. Uh, like, you have to really suspend your disbelief, uh, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm just having fun with the comedy bits of these you know, gremlins in the bar, like, playing poker and just shooting each other. Just, like, really dumb uh, comedy bits. But, yeah. Yeah. Fun Sorry. fact about Gremlins. It's one of the movies that contributed to the PG-13 rating. I did see that. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so you're voting Gremlins, Jake? I am, yeah, even though we're losing. All right. Well, I will say, <laughs> Ryan McKayla... <laughs> Ryan McKayla Ali, one of you guys could swap over if, if the argument was good. It's a good argument, but I feel like. Damn, I want you to know the Jake, Charlie Brown Jake, Christmas is a. Jake, this is how I felt when they were. It's a they bit were more iconic Tom. as a Christmas movie. I'm with you. I love Gremlins. However, it's okay. It's okay. the tribe has spoken. It's okay. Michaela, Ali. Yeah, that's a no. Uh, all good. We're good. I'm, I'm, Move no, on. I'm having a tough time, actually. You know, it's it's, oh. it's, a, it's a good argument. You know, so it's like. It, it, the, my issue is that Charlie Brown is just such an iconic, like, piece of yeah. Christmas, like, I guess, folklore <laughs> at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really hard for Gremlins to kind of overtopple it. But you brought up a good argument, so you know what? I, I, I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll switch. One. I'll switch. Oh, Ooh. okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, two on two tie for the next episode of Quiz Club. We got. We got. We, we got. We're, we're just. We're just tying it up today. We're tying it up. So Home Alone 2, Miracle on 34th will cut. So actually, basically, the bottom right will be tied until next week. Uh, Die Hard will be moving on to face the Grinch. Should be fun. (laughs) Should be fun. Okay, folks, uh, we are back. Welcome from our little intermission. We are back. Uh, And we are storming into our third round, folks. This is Michaela and Ryan's shared double point round. Dun, dun. This is some tag team story oh, now again <laughs> now listen how this one's played uh we did change the rules now it is no longer you guys have to guess each other's you have to meld minds and and come up with a word this one is a movie trivia so i will be uh you guys will be divided in, in t- two teams two and two and you guys will have four minutes each to go over all of movie trivia that i will give you so you guys can work collectively um to come up with one final answer each answer gets you three points Michaela and Ryan, every correct answer gets them six points. Oh, y'all need to be careful. This is the round y'all need to be careful, but don't worry because the fourth round, anybody's ball game in fourth round. All right. Uh, how this one is played, team wise, it is first and third, and second and fourth. So the teams are going to be Michaela and Jake, Ali and Ryan. <laughs> All right, all right. So we'll go ahead and do uh, Ollie and Ryan. Uh, I'll do Michaela and Jake on the top, Ollie and Ryan on the bottom. Cool. Uh, you guys, the team that's not going, you're just gonna. I'm gonna remove you guys from the stream. You guys are just gonna watch, spectate. You don't to buzz in. It's just uh, whoever's on the team, whoever team is up, they're the ones going. Um, out of my two teams, who would like to go first? Get it over. Okay. Oh, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Jake and Michaela, y'all are up. Let's do this, y'all. Okay. All right. 
Uh, again, I will start your time. Every correct answer, Jake, you get three points. Michaela gets six. So y'all, oh, man. you're working together. But remember, y'all are enemies after this round. <laughs> but you guys are friends right now. You guys are friends. You guys there are tag go. team, tag team partners. Okay. Your four minutes. I will say your first question. The first answer you guys collectively give me, I will start your time. Okay. Gotcha. Um, also, give me um, when you guys are giving me your answer. Uh, say. If you guys both say an answer, like both collectively confirm we're saying, or let's go with this, or let, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Uh, if Michaela says let's go with this, Jake, I need you to say yes. Or if you want to, if you want to fight it, say, I think we should go with this. As long as I get confirmation from one answer from you guys, I'll give it to you. Okay. okay. All right. All right. First question. Which word completes this quote from Apocalypse Now? I love the smell of blank in the morning. Surrender. Napalm, gunfire, or vic victory? I don't know. Do you know? For some reason, I think napalm. I think so, too. I napalm. That yeah. is correct. Time has begun. All right, next question. Dracula was filmed in English during the day in what language uh, at night? German, Swedish, French, or Spanish? I think ger German. German. That is incorrect. Next question. What karaoke song does Cameron Diaz's character sing in My Best Friend's Wedding? I just don't know what I'd do with myself. I will always love you. Stay. Could this be love? I want to say it, it's could this be love, but i not. Could this be love? That is incorrect. Next question. Ah. True or false? Jimmy Stewart did not want to do It's a Wonderful Life. True? True. That is correct. Three points. Six points to you. Uh, which actor plays Private uh, Private Ryan in Saving Private Ryan? Tom Hanks, Vin Diesel, Edward Burns, or Matt Damon? Matt Damon. Damon. That is correct. Uh, another six and another three to you guys. Next question: Who is the youngest person to win an Oscar? Jennifer Lawrence, Mickey Rooney, Haley Joel Osment, or Tatum O'Neill? I think it's Haley Joel Osment. Haley Joel Osment. That is incorrect. Next question: True or false? Bradley Cooper's first movie role was in 2005's Wedding Crashers. False? You think false? I don't know. False. False. That is correct. Three points, six points to you guys. Next question. What is the name of Jeff, Jeff Goldblum's character in Jurassic Park? Dr. Ian Malcolm, Dr. Malcolm Stevens, Dr. Ian e. Evan Malcolm, or Dr. Michael Even? The second answer. Sure. That is incorrect. Dang. What is the highest gross, grossing movie of all time? Titanic, Avatar, Endgame, or Star Wars The Force Awakens? Avatar. Endgame. Wait. It's Endgame. Of all I, time. I think it's Avatar. Uh, it's got to be Endgame. Avatar is not anymore. I need a collective answer from the both of you guys. I, I know it's Avatar, but let's go with Endgame. That is incorrect. Next question. I know it's Avatar. <laughs> Which movie was Corey Feldman not in? Stand By Me, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, The Goonies, or The Lost Boys? What was the second one? Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I think it's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Yes. That is correct. Three points, six points to you guys. Next question. Who was originally cast to voice Shrek? Bill Murray, Chris Farley, David Spade, or Chris Rock? I thought it was, it's either Bill Murray or Chris Farley. Uh, Bill Murray? Bill Murray, Michaela? Yeah, sure. Incorrect. Next question. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth first met on set of which film? Hannah Montana, the Last movie, song. The Last Song, Hunger Games, or Safe song. Haven? Last Song. That is correct. Six points to you guys, three points to you, Jake. Uh, next movie. Uh, next question. Which is the first movie in the Bourne franchise? The Bourne Legacy, The Bourne Supremacy, Jason Bourne, or The Bourne Identity? Bourne Identity. Bourne Identity. That is correct. Six points to you, three points to you. Next question. True or false? Mickey Mouse has five fingers. False. False. That is correct. Six points to you, Michaela. Three points to you, Jake. Next question. Which actor isn't in Anchorman? Paul Rudd, Seth Rogen, David Kochner, Cockner? I don't know. And Adam Scott. Seth, Seth Rogen, right? No, Seth Rogen's in it. Uh, uh, th third one? Question mark? Yeah. That is incorrect. Damn. Next question. What are the names of the two people behind Ghostface in Scream? Billy and Steve, Bobby and Stu, Bobby and Stu, or sorry, Bobby and Steve, or Billy and Stu? Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'll say it again. Yeah. What? Isn't it Bobby and Stu? That is incorrect. Next question. What year was the first Die Hard movie released? 86, 88, 90, or 91? 90? 90. 90. That is incorrect. Next question. 
Uh, which movie does not feature Catherine O'Hara? Nothing Personal, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Beetlejuice, or City of Angels? Which one does not feature Catherine O'Hara? The first one, I think. Okay, yeah. That is incorrect. Next question. Oh. Who plays... The, this is the last question, by the way. Time has stopped. I will say the last question. Okay. Who plays the convenience store clerk seen at the beginning of Juno? Bill Hader, Rain Wilson, Andy Samberg, or Jonah Hill? I'm thinking Jonah Hill. Sure, Jonah Hill. That is incorrect. Very good stuff, though, you guys. Very good stuff. You guys, yeah, you guys killed it there. Let me add up your points, and then I'll have the other. I didn't gentleman. think Avatar was still the highest. No, it yeah, cheated because they it did the re-release, and then it snuck back up. And uh, and then Avatar re-released. Yeah, I knew that for a yeah. fact. You were so. <laughs> you I love that. You should have fought harder, Michaela. I, I knew it, it was you guys, Avatar. You, That's you had to you, fight right? harder. That's better for you, Ryan. <laughs> Less That's points for like, them, right? I know, really but fun. because it's after the fact, I can say my piece. Yeah. Now, I'll leave. That's fair. That's fair. Because I know, those, huh? I know a lot about movies. If I know the answer, just say yes to me. <laughs> I know a lot about I know a lot, man. All right. Was, I was, was the one about the highest... Catherine O'Hare, City of Angels? Uh, let me check. Sorry. Um, no, you're good. I'll check right now. Uh, yes, it was. Yep. Dang it. Oh, man. They got amazing. eight right, so we have to do more than that. That is correct. Yeah, you did get, they did Nine. get eight right. Actually, I might as well just do that six times eight. That made it easy for me. Thank you, Ryan. They went on a date, 48. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. Ooh, Michaela looking good on those scores. Jake, you uh, Jake, you can you really catapulted your way up as well. All right. Do you guys want updated scores, or do you want to wait until the other gentlemen go? Let's we'll wait. wait. We'll wait. Let's wait. Let's we wait. got All this. Right. All right, Ryan and Ali, you guys are up. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and get my windows all good, and then I will start. Again, whatever I will start question I don't know the answer, I'll just defer to you, Ryan. All right. <laughs> all right. First question. Uh, once you guys give me the first answer, I will start your time. All right. First question. True or false? The first Academy Awards were handed out in 1925. I think that is false. I'll go false. That is correct. You guys are uh, Ali, three. Ryan, six. All right. First question. Uh, next question. Which movie stars Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet as which movie stars Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet as a broken up couple who seek to erase each other's memories? Memories? It had to be you. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind or Equals? Eternal Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine. Yep, that is correct. I love that movie. Uh, what was the highest grossing movie of 2005? War of the Worlds, Revenge of the Sith, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, or The Chronicles of Narnia? I'm going to think Revenge of the Sith. I will go with that. That is incorrect. I Next like question. Was, yeah, Rock, Narnia, maybe, but no, whatever. Uh, which actress has the most Oscar wins? Katherine Hepburn, Meryl Streep, Ingrid Bergman, or Elizabeth Taylor? Do you know? No. I'm going to go, go with, with uh, uh... Streep. Yeah. Meryl Streep? That is incorrect. Next question. When was the first Mission Impossible movie released? 93, 96, 97, or 99? First mission. I'm going to say, do you know? Is it 96? I think maybe 97. We'll go 97. Give me one answer, gentlemen. 97? What? 97? Yeah. Incorrect. Next question. How many movies did Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers do together? 7, 9, 10, or 12? I'm good with 10. 10. <laughs> That is correct. Three why points to you, all why, six why, to Ryan. Why can't we get the questions they have, they have bro? <laughs> I, so I know. <laughs> Who voices Lenny the Shark in 2004's Shark Tale? Adam it's Jack Lenny, Black. Will Ferrell, Jack. Jack Black, or Jimmy Fallon? Jack Black, Jack yeah, Black. Jack, that is Jack, three Jack, points, Jack. six points. Next question. What movie is this famous quote from? You can't handle the truth. Training Day, Saving Private Ryan, A Few Good Men, or Armageddon? A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men. That is correct. Three points, six points. Next question. Which romantic movies does not feature Ryan Reynolds? The Proposal, Definitely Maybe, Just Friends, or He's Just Not That Into You? Ryan Reynolds. Uh, all right, we're just going to have to guess one. Can you say them uh, all again? Proposal, Definitely Maybe, Just Friends, or He's Just Not That Into You? 
Definitely, maybe. Definitely, maybe. That is incorrect. Next question: Which character is uh, which character in The Godfather is nick- nicknamed the Turk? Emilio Barzini, Sonny Corleone, Virgil Solanzo, or Sal- Salvador Tessio? How well do you know The Godfather? Not very well. I'll go with Salvador. Sal. It is incorrect. Next question: Which comedian makes a zombie cameo in Zombieland? Dan. Uh, Icro Croyd, Chevy Case, Steve Martin, or Bill Murray? I completely butchered those names. <laughs> a zombie cameo? Uh, that's a loaded question. I know Bill Murray's in it. Which comedian makes a zombie cameo in Zombieland? As in they are a zombie in it? Yeah. Um, Maybe. Repeat them again? Dan? Oh my god, Ryan. I'm going to go back. Uh, uh, bottoms up. Bill Murray, Steve Martin, Chevy, Chevy Chase, or Dan A. Dan Aykroyd? Dan Aykroyd, sure. Dan Aykroyd, yeah. That is incorrect. Next question. How many times has A Star is Born, which was originally released in 1937, been remade? Two times? Three times. Three times? Three times. Four or five? Three times. Three. That is incorrect. Next question. Which actress plays Julia Child in Julia and Julia? Meryl Streep, Diane Keaton, Jane Fonda, or Joanne Cusack? Joan Cusack? Yeah. Incorrect. Next question. Which movie does not feature Winona Ryder? Lucas, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Bram Stoker's Dracula, or Girl Interrupted? B. B. That is correct. Three points. That's, to uh, what's Eating Gilbert Grape, right? right? Yeah, it was Eating Gilbert. Yeah, right, last yeah. question. Time has expired. I will give you guys the last question like I did the last team. Which movie does not star Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore? The Wedding Singer, Fever Pitch, Blended, or 50 first dates. I know the last two they are in together. What was the name of the first two again? Wedding Singer. The Wedding Singer or Favor Pitch were the first two. I think Wedding Singer was in Wedding Singer, wasn't he? I know he was. I don't I haven't seen the other two. Um the first two. So I'm going to go with Do you know it's The Wedding Singer? No, no, no. I think you I think they were in Wedding Singer together. So I'll go with uh, with option 2. B. That is correct. Finalizing cool. three <laughs> points and six points. Very good. Uh, stuff, you guys. There were some they yeah, got where I was like, I knew more of your guys' this set. Yeah, I yeah, knew more cool. of yours. I the Dracula yours. Spanish version. I knew that one. Like, uh, I I knew the Ryan Reynolds one. I knew the Oscars one. I knew the Meryl Streep one. Uh, the Julia. I was Julia, like, Julia. Julia uh, is uh, Meryl Streep. She plays Julia Child. I, yeah, that's true. Very good. Yeah, and I, I knew way more on your guys' set than, than, than our own. <laughs> All right. It's okay. We got at seven, least, so. It's reciprocal. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, folks. Let me update these points. We got Can seven. You You're on the board now, Ollie. You're on the board. Ollie is on the board. He no longer Let's holds go. the record. Let's go. For the lowest points. Very good stuff, <laughs> Ollie. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let me update these. Getting juicy at the top. I will say in this last round, it's it's ball game for everyone. Anyone can anyone can take the win. All right, in fourth currently, Ollie with twenty one. Don't worry, Ollie. We come on back. Don't you worry. Fourth round, we usually have comebacks. Uh, third place is Jake with fifty three. Very good stuff, Jake. No worries. We come on back. We come on back. You know how it goes. Second place, twenty two points ahead is Ryan with seventy five. Six point. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, 6.5 ahead of Ryan. Michaela with 81.5. That number one spot, it's getting close. I will say, it was at 18 and a half points between Jake and Michaela. Uh, technically, was at 61.5 between Ollie and Michaela. It's still possible because yeah. we are entering our fourth round. This is the first time this round is closing Quiz Club. I hit a spin wheel. Okay. I was like, let's have some fun. If it's Quiz Club Minute, I'm going to jump off. I hit, a, I hit a spin I wheel. Hope it is. And I guarantee you this is not a coincidence. Oh, no. The fourth round of Quiz Club will be <laughs> Quiz Club Minute. Oh, Ryan Just so you guys know, this is Ryan's round. Um, I'm sorry. But here's the thing about this round, and I will go over the rules again. This round is very – it's a hot potato round. So – uh, the rules. I'll try to explain them. I'm really bad at explaining the rules for this round, but uh, I, I will try to try to explain them pretty well. Um, 
Basically, I will give you guys a plot or synopsis to a movie you need to explain, and you need to speak for one full minute. One full minute. Um, every every ten seconds, you get three points. Uh, if you get challenged, uh, actually, let me go back. Let me go back. So you're going to talk about a movie, a synopsis, uh, for a single minute, uh, but you cannot hesitate. You cannot say ums, no uhs, no pauses. You cannot deviate. You cannot talk about too much about how you feel about the film or anything that's not the plot or the synopsis. And you cannot repeat words. Now, you can repeat words um, like I, am, and they, them, he, she, them, there, stuff like that, pronouns, all that good stuff. And you can repeat the topic of what it is. So, for example, we had a explain the plot to Toy Story. You can You can repeat words like Toy Story. But you cannot repeat words like Andy, Buzz, or Woody. You cannot repeat those. You can say he multiple times, but you cannot repeat other words than that. Uh, also another example, if it was like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. You can repeat words like Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, but if you were getting to the point where you're like, Harry, 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 Harry Potter, 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 it would not count. That would be repetition. Um, so that's how that is played. Um, let's say, for example, Ryan is going. <laughs> uh, Ryan's talking about a movie, blah, 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 and he accidentally uh, repeats chair. Let's say he repeats chair. Ollie catches him and says, I'm challenging Ryan. He repeated chair. That's repetition. Ollie would get two points for a correct challenge. Ollie would now become the person in the hot seat who would be explaining the plot. You could pick up wherever he left off, Ollie, or you can start over with the synopsis. Uh, that's how that goes. Cool. Okay. All right. Any questions for this round? I know this round is very <laughs> controversial. Intense. Are, are you very good at this, Jake? I'm okay. It just—it's right. stopping Ryan. That's the. It thing. is stopping it's Ryan. Like, now I will no, say. No, it's not no. even stopping Ryan. <laughs> it's not messing up because Ryan is an opportunist and a disruptor. Ugh, I hate this. Okay. Um. So... All right. It I was randomized. Say. It was I know, randomized, I I will, and I immediately was like, oh, no. <laughs> it was randomized. Now, uh, again, Ryan is really good at this round, but there is a way. I'm not trying to tear you down, Ryan, but there is a way, folks. Really pay attention. To, is he repeating, devoting, or hesitating? You can cut him off, and you can get points. If it's correct, you can constantly keep scoring points to yourself. Uh, just know that once you're in the hot seat, you're, you're under the hot seat. You cannot repeat, deviate, or hesitate. Cool? Yeah, this this right. rap, this game you can get so many points. It's like the game that you yeah. can get the most points during. You can get points. I'll thankfully, you can't. Thankfully, no one has double points this round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally, which contributed to my yeah ridiculous yeah, high score. <laughs> Ollie, did you have a question? Um, yeah. So, so let's say for example, I catch Ryan on some uh, on like a duplicate or whatever. Am I then not allowed to say words he has already said? That's a good point. You can say anything that he has already said. It's okay. just you cannot yourself repeat, repeat. words, hesitate. Do, do, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a good question. Good question, though. Cool. Who would like to be on the hot seat first? Ryan. All right. We're letting him All start. Right. Ryan, we're going to have that's Ryan a... start. All right, Ryan, go ahead and give me a number. One through four. Oh, one. Since you're looking at <laughs> your... All right, one. Oh, hold on. There we go. I was like, they're not on my phone, but they're right here. All right, number one, Ryan, you will be explaining the plot and synopsis to Die Hard. Now, I will start your timer. Uh, I'll oh, let no. you get situated. Whenever you start talking, I start your time. Uh, another added thing: he does not score points until he surpasses ten seconds. I will say that as well. All right, Ryan, whenever you're ready. An airplane comes to Los Angeles. A guy walks out and starts smoking a cigarette. He catches a limousine and talks to the driver. He says that he is going to a party. It is on Christmas Eve. And when he arrives at the building, he sees his spouse. When he meets his wife, he then goes upstairs and meets the supervisor. Mikaela? He takes off his Mikaela? shoes. He said meets twice. He did say meets twice. That is a correct challenge Ooh. to Michaela. Wait, you can't say verbs more? Uh, nope. 
Nope. Okay. You cannot. No, you cannot. Only Very good catch. I will say, Ryan, you repeated a lot the last time when we played this, and nobody cut you off. That's why you score so many points. <laughs> All right, uh, Ryan, you had 25 seconds on there, good sir. So you have uh, 7.5 points coming out of that little run. Very good stuff. Michaela, you got two points for that correct challenge. Okay. Whenever you're ready, you can start over or you can continue where you left off. It's completely up to you. A man in a limousine is heading to the airport, and he tells the driver that he is going to a party. When he arrives at the party, he Ryan. Meets Ryan, repeated repeated yeah. party. That is yeah. repetition of party. Two, three points to Michaela for surpassing ten seconds on the dot as well. Uh, Ryan, that is two points for a correct challenge. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I'll keep. I'll keep. I was gonna say I'll, I'll turn down the the challenge to one point. I'll keep it at two. I'll keep it at two. All right, okay. Ryan. Uh, Michaela, you did ten seconds. Mc Ryan, you have twenty five seconds to play with whenever you're ready. Okay. Now, you can start over if you'd like, but. Be careful about repeating any words because whatever words you repeated from when you went the first time, that still goes into effect. So can I start from where she goes or you can start off where she goes as long as you don't repeat any words that you said the first time go around. Or can I go so from where I was at? You can go where you were at. You can do that. All right. Just don't repeat any words you said and let's see if anyone catches you. Okay. I'm about to start. He was doing cocaine. <laughs> Little do we know that uh, Albert. Jake! No, oh, hesitation. <laughs> I know that is hesitation. Uh, that is one point five points for you, Ryan, for getting half of ten seconds. Uh, Jake, that is two points for a correct challenge. Very good stuff. All right. He can Jake, go from it, the beginning too, right? You can start from the beginning, and Jake, since this is your first time challenging, you could start over. You could start over. You have nineteen seconds to play with whenever you're ready. A man arrives in downtown Los Angeles and goes to a building where his wife is, where he finds a hostage situation by Alan Rickman. Eventually, they meet on the roof after he's climbed through the vents a bunch of times. Then the villain tries to do an American accent, which doesn't work, and eventually points a gun in him, but it's not loaded. And time. Yeah. Very good nice. stuff, Jake. Very good stuff. I will get, since it was 19 seconds, I'll give you the little extra bit. I will give you six points for that. Very good stuff. Okay. As the points stand currently, folks, y'all gotta be y'all gotta be on this because whew, it's getting tense. All right, as the points stand, fourth, Ali, twenty-one. No worries, Ali. We come back. Don't you worry about it, sir. We come back. Third, Jake with sixty-one. Very good stuff, Jake. And second, Michaela with eighty-six. Two points ahead, Ryan oh, with eighty-five. Man. It's it's, it's right. tense. It's tense. All right, oh, who would like man. to start next? Can I propose an alliance? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not with you. All right, who would like to start? I'm the best person to have an alliance with. <laughs> but then you get points too. But <laughs> if the you three like, of us... You have to realize <laughs> that it's stopping you. That's the game at this point. <laughs> I know, but I have a counter offer. <laughs> what is your counter offer? <laughs> Let's so, hear all right. Basically, for you two people, because I'm already ahead. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Yeah. So, what we can do is <laughs> we gang up on all <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Down? That's what, I'm what a werewolf mentality! I'm down for Ryan. it. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. <laughs> all right, all right. Order I'm here for. Order. I'm Order here for. It. <laughs> Who would like to go next? I'll go next. No one wants to all go. Right. I'll go next. All right, Ali. Ali, pick a number one through three. Uh, number one. All right, Ali. I hope you've seen this movie. <laughs> I really oh, hope man. I've seen this movie. I really hope I've seen this movie. Ali, you will be explaining the plot and synopsis. To Miracle on 34th. Oh! I've never seen this movie. I've never seen this movie. Um, oh, crap. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, Ali, let me start your time. Hold on. Dude, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I've never even seen the I movie. Will say, I will say, I think Jake is the only one who might have seen this, maybe. He I've seen catch... it, but it's not since I was like 10. Okay, Jake can catch you on dev uh, deviation, but you can try to bullshit as, much, as far as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the movie is about. All right. 
Ali, your time starts when you start speaking. All right. Uh, Jake, yeah, have fun. Uh, a man is walking down a street, and he is meeting with his family for Jake, a uh, deviation. Jake. Is that, that what it's about? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, man. Santa Claus, he's, yeah, it doesn't happen. That he's doesn't meeting happen his family. Yeah, right. no. Jake, that is two points for a correct challenge. Jake, you have 55 seconds to play with whenever you start talking. Oh, I got start five seconds? Time. Let's go. When the Santa Claus at the Thanksgiving Macy's Day Parade gets drunk, an old man from the crowd steps in to become Mr. Christmas. And then he then becomes... Uh, fuck. Ryan. Ryan? Uh, <laughs> that is... What is the challenge? Uh, that was saying, uh. Hesitation. What is the challenge? Hesitation. Yeah, hesitation. hesitation. Which... You know better, yeah. sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ryan, that is two points for a correct challenge. Jake, you got 10 seconds. That is three points to you, good sir. Whew. Okay. All right. Uh, Ryan, you have 44 seconds to play with whenever you're ready. Right. <laughs> got to lube up the throat, you know? <laughs> got to get ready. Got to get ready. I, all right, I'm about to start. During the Thanksgiving parade, there is a man who is drunk. This person just so happens to be dressed as Santa Claus. Then a gentleman within the crowd arrives and saves the day and becomes the new Kris Kringle. Now, as that goes, Jake, there is a Jake, There's a little hesitation after. I'll, I'll give you the hesitation. I'll give that. I'll give that. Yeah. Uh, correct challenge for hesitation. Ryan, very good stuff. You had six points because you went 19 seconds, about 20 Whoa. seconds. Very good stuff, Ryan. Very good stuff. All right. Jake, you have 25 seconds to play with. Now, since you didn't start, Ali started. So you could start over from the get go and try to reform your words. It's only if you start, if you repeat those words, that's where you okay. follow up. All right. Jake, whenever you're ready. Chris Kringle begins working at the Macy's. He then tells the customers at this establishment to go to the other establishment if the parents Ryan. Ryan. fight. Ryan. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. no. Michaela, Michaela. I know. No. My bad. I said okay. Ryan. I meant Michaela. Uh, repeat. Uh, establish. That yeah. is a correct challenge. I will give you 1.5 points there, Jake, for making it about five seconds. Uh, Michaela, that is a correct challenge. Two points to you. You have 18 seconds to play with. Didn't he also technically repeat Macy's? No, I said Macy's no, an establishment. He back. Yeah, he yeah. did say establishment. It's all good. All right, Michaela, again, he didn't start, so you can start from the beginning. <laughs> all right, whenever you're ready, you have 18 seconds. Open on a Thanksgiving parade that happens to be Macy's. As the day goes forward... I Ryan. Yeah. Ryan? <laughs> Hesitation. That was yeah. hesitation, but Michaela, you went about eight and a half seconds. I'll give you the three. That is a okay. correct challenge to Ryan. That is two. Ryan, you have nine seconds to play with whenever you're ready. The movie starts with a celebration around the latter half of the year, and then we see a boozer throw up all over the place. And time, your face. and time, 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 time. All right, I'll cut it there. Let me go ahead and add those points up and give you guys an update. Oh, this is for the championship. The winner of this of this quiz club walks into the special edition Christmas episode. It will have six people in it. Wow. Walks into the Christmas episode as the champ. As of right now, fourth is Ollie. Don't worry about it, man. We come on back. We come on back. Third place, Jake with 69.5. Nice. 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 Second place, Michaela with 91.5. Mm. 10 points ahead, Ryan 105. Still all to play for. There is still a chance, technically, for Jake to take the dub. Technically, there's a, there's a chance for Ollie. There's two more people that need to go. So Ollie still could get the win. <laughs> We're going to come in clutch. All right. Wait, uh, I thought yet. Ollie just went. Uh, I'll go. Okay, so we have Jake and Michaela, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Ollie, basically, Ollie has a chance because there's still two more people. Yeah. So he could get a chance to get, what is that like? Eighty three, something points. That? Three times six. Eighteen, 18 plus 18, eighteen plus the steal. Well. Yeah. Well. Depends. It's playable. It depends. It's playable. It's playable. Placeable for sure. All right, Jake, you want to go? Uh, uh, yes, I do. All right, Jake, give me heads or tails. Tails. All right, Jake, you will be explaining the plot and synopsis to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. All right. 
Rudolph is a reindeer with a red nose, but none of the other reindeer like him. Michaela. All... Michaela? Reindeer. I that is an incorrect reindeer. challenge because it is a part of the title. Oh, okay. Jake, since it, okay, also uh, a little note just to refresher. If it's an incorrect challenge, Jake can restart and not get any any repetitions or anything that docked from him. Okay. So that's the whole point of the incorrect. Okay. All right, Jake, you can continue at 55 seconds. You can start over. Rudolph is a reindeer with a red nose. None of the other reindeer like him. They all make fun of him and play games about him. The Ryan. Santa Ryan. Slight hesitation. Yeah. I'm gonna call that an incorrect challenge. Oh wow. <laughs> but Jake, you are now passing the 10 second mark, and because that was a little iffy, you have to watch what you say now. Okay. But I'll give that an incorrect challenge. Jake, you can continue going. I was a little close there, sir. I'll give you that, though. I'll give you that. All right. Whenever you're ready. He lives at the North Pole with Santa and Mrs. Claus. He decides to go on an adventure to find his independence. He meets an old miner and Sasquatch, then eventually <laughs> visits the Island of Misfit Toys, where he meets a, a little one in a box, Brian. which becomes... Ryan. He said, meets a, a little. Um, there was hesitation there. Mm. Meets a little. I, there was I'm like a, a, a little. Oh, really? <sighs> Ryan, I will say that was an incorrect challenge, but there, I would have given it to you if you said the correct challenge. There was a challenge that I caught there that you didn't catch, but it's all good. It's all good. Thank Jake, you're still, you're still good. Be careful with what you say. You're, okay. you're, you got 30 seconds still. 30 seconds. You're doing pretty good. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, the man in the red suit came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then Ryan. Tonight, Ryan. Night. I'll give you night. I was going to okay, give you okay, the hesitation okay. there, but all I'll right, give you night. Right. That was going to be my strategy, was yeah. just sing the song. Woo. Very good stuff. All right, good. very good stuff, all right. Jake. Very good stuff. Ryan, two points for the correct challenge. Whenever you're ready, you have 19 seconds. All right. We open up to a stop motion of the North Pole where deer just gave birth to Jake. Rudolph, the rest no He's not a deer. He's a reindeer. It's under the same category. No, no, no. Reindeer are different than deer. <laughs> <laughs> That's like dogs now and listen, wolves. Now listen. That's like dogs deer and wolves. Okay, okay, okay. Can, can deer fly, though? I don't know about Can that, reindeer Ryan. fly, bro? Ryan, They're like, wait, yeah, Ryan, 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 actual Ryan. reindeer. Listen, I, I feel would get like... Yelled at, Ryan, I would get yelled at by Jill if I let you have that. Because they are two <laughs> different words. But they're still qualified because a reindeer, it's like finger and thumbs. Not all deer are reindeer, but all reindeer are deer. I'm going to side with Ryan on this one. <laughs> I got to say... What would Jill do? Uh, that, that's what I'm like th thinking. Th I know like, Jill's gonna is, watch this. This is like semantics at this point. Like, it, it's <laughs> right, Ryan, 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 I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you that, but be right. careful with what you say now. All right, all right. How many seconds do I have? You have you have 12 seconds. All right. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was chastised by his peers. There was also a elf that wanted to be a dentist, and his boss did not appreciate his handiwork. They met, and they <laughs> and left. Time, time, and time, time, time. All right, very good stuff. Updated points. Fourth, Ali. We come on back. We come on back. Third, making his comeback, Jake with 81.5. And mm. second. Michaela with 91.5. And first, Ryan with 109.5. Oh, dang. Technically still in reach. Y'all need y'all need to keep it away from Ryan at this point. Yeah. Either Michaela or Jake. Y'all need to keep it away from Ryan. It's Ryan. I, I, I know. I know. It's, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't just hold back. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I, knew, I knew this was a long shot when I heard the category. <laughs> no worries. I've, I feel time. dirty that this is on here, but at the same time, because it's on here, I have to exploit it. Yeah, Michaela, I will say you you're in a really good position because you have the ball. This is like the ball's in I your do, court, but I have to know the movie a... very, very well. 
Well, I, ho I hope you do, because you will be explaining the plot and synopsis to Elf. Holy crap. Okay. Now. Now. I'm going to go ahead and get the timer ready. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're ready, I will start your time. Oh, let me leave that up for you. Whenever you're ready. Buddy the Elf lives at the North Pole. He was adopted by a other toy maker. Ryan. Ryan? Hesitation. I won't give you that one. That wasn't a long enough hesitation for that one. Michaela, right. you can keep going if you like. Uh, do I get my words back? Yes, because it was incorrect. Okay. Incorrect challenge, yeah. Buddy the Elf lives at the North Pole. He was adopted by another toy maker. He was looking for people of his height, but everyone else at the place is shorter than him. He finds out he is of a different parentage. He decides to go on a journey to meet others of his kind. Ryan. Ryan. Others. Because others of his height and then others of his kind. That is a correct challenge. That is two points to Ryan. Michaela, you did pretty good. You got 35 seconds off the board there. Okay. Uh, let me do that, man. No, we just got to stop Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you do need to stop. You do need to stop Ryan. Ryan, you get to start over if you'd like or continue. I'm going to start over. How much time do I have? 25 seconds? It's 25 seconds to play with. All right. Starting whenever you're ready. It's Christmas night, and we are at an orphanage where there is a baby. Santa comes down the chimney. Jake? Jake? Uh, incorrect. It's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas no, Eve. it's Christmas. No, 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 no. Santa comes down the chimney Christmas Eve. <laughs> this is not... <laughs> what are you challenging, Jake? Are you challenging de de deviation? Deviation? Yeah, yeah, deviation? How is it deviation? Christmas night and Christmas Eve, there is no actual <laughs> clock there. Hold yeah, on, hold on, hold on. Is Jake, hold on, Jake, you're saying... I'm saying it's he Christmas says Christmas Eve, night. Right? Yeah, and so, but Ryan... it's Christmas Eve when Santa comes down the chimney. Christmas night would be the 25th. The night, in the evening. That's... If... Ryan, I I hate... I, I, at first, I was like, there's no way, Jake. Jake's just bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be honest. You gotta give me that, since you didn't give me the reindeer. That's... I, How much that, time is left? 20, 20 seconds. 20 so you seconds. Got, you got three. You got three right there, Ryan. So I will give that so, a correct challenge to Jake for deviation. It was incorrect. Jake, you have 20 seconds to play with. So uh, I feel like Michaela threw me a bone last week. Am I able to just pass my 20 seconds on to Michaela? Oh, no, oh no, that's no. just to make things interesting. That could be no, fun. because she gave you she gave you a chance. You're oh, you would be giving this her, is that, that's this be giving a chance. She, I love the game move. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> if you want to sabotage yourself and hopefully that's true. Well, no, she is able to catch true. it before I me. Because then that cements the win for you. Because that's if the off chance I get it. I want him to go as hard as he can and. Honestly, go as hard as you can, Jake. Just don't let Ryan get it. That's that's what I want. Just don't let <laughs> He's Ryan. He's gonna win. I will. No, I will. So I'm Jake, gonna I'm gonna here's the thing. Honest. Michaela is not far behind. Like she, like. Let's give it to Michaela. You can't just. You have. That's not. I appreciate the alliance. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I take it if Dante let it. I feel like that. That would be kind of that would be a little. That's... I enjoy I enjoyed it from last episode, but Michaela, you gave him the chance to guess it. Jake would be giving you the the opportunity. Yes. I don't I don't I think that's too different. I think that's too different. I, I'm gonna have to reject that. I'm gonna have to. Reject all right, all right. But whatever you do, whatever you say or not say from now, Jake, that's up to you. <laughs> Try your hardest, Jake. All right, Jake, give me one second. <laughs> and there's nothing Whatever. preventing me from stealing it from Kayla once she gets it. But I would get some seconds. <laughs> That's true. She would get some Well, it depends. You'd have to pass 10. Yeah. All right. All right. Jake, whenever you're ready. Maple syrup, maple syrup, maple syrup, Ryan. maple syrup. Damn it. Ryan? Um, he repeated maple syrup. <laughs> it's like, right. Yes. 
Oh my lord! What I was the trying heck? to give it to you. I know. I wasn't expecting it though. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's All okay. Right. Ryan, we still got 19 seconds to play. Ryan, whenever you're ready. You it has continue. to get to 10 seconds though, right? Yes, to get to yes to get to points, he gets 10 seconds. And I can't repeat anything that I already said. You can't. I no, can't. He, he because can't. Michaela, because Michaela started the the. Yeah. It was her topic to start. I, I thought if you go though, you can't. You don't get to start over again. It's only mm. if it's your brand new in the round. I only said that because it was an in, if it was an incorrect challenge. Wait, no, it's I'm whatever not... Dante decides here. I got cut off pretty early. But I am going to go with whatever Dante decides. You know, I'll make it juicy, Ryan. Ryan, you're you're, you're ahead. You're ahead. I'll, I'll you can't repeat anything. I'll make it juicy. All right. <laughs> Out of the sack comes an infant, <laughs> and they decide to take him in and raise him as one of their own. He is terrible at his job. He breaks things. He can change the light up top, but he can't do much else for the North Pole. So he realizes and he's actually time, human. Time, time, time. Let me go ahead and add those final scores. Very good stuff for all you guys. I'm Very sorry, guys. Final scores. Very good stuff from you guys. Very good stuff. And fourth, it's Ali. No worries, man. We, You know, good stuff. Good stuff, Ali. Very good fight. Very good I fight. Had, I had fun. And third... <laughs> Jake with 83.5. Second, Michaela with 103. And first, and new quiz club champion, 121 points. Very, very good stuff, Ryan. Very good stuff. Give the man a round of applause. Give him a round. Very good stuff, Ryan. I will say whew, that round is... It was tense because the meta is that I am really good at this, so the big target is on me. I will say I like this round because of all the strategy involved. I hate this round more than not even when I'm even when Ryan isn't playing. I hate this more than anything. It channels my anxiety. Like I am in constant anxiety during this round. It it was a tough round, and it was crazy when it came up on the wheel. But Ryan is your new two-time quiz club champ champion very good stuff ryan he will be walking in to the christmas day episode our christmas episode of of quiz club uh very good stuff you guys very good stuff um points all around um uh we're gonna introduce uh well not introduce we're gonna do what we usually did last episode i added a new new thing um but before we do that i am getting transmission hold on wait a second hold on wait <laughs> We officially have word. We have a quiz club cash in. Okay. At the moment, Mose has entered the chat. She has Hi. entered the arena. Anna, welcome in. The quiz Hi. club cash in contract winner is here to cash in. All right. Anna, Anna, welcome in. We had a pretty, pretty long, pretty long episode. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Yes, and we had, we had a very nail biter at the very end because Ryan has taken the championship from Michaela, oh. but on is cashing in. So folks, we're gonna jump into our cash in round. <laughs> All right, Ali, Jake, and Michaela, you guys are here to watch. It is Anna V. J uh, Ryan for the Quiz Club Championship. The cash in contract, I spun the wheel. The, the, the round that it landed on was fast and furiously oh. rapid, folks. I will give you guys movie synopsis and you guys have to tell me what movie. That is, this is for the championship. Cash in contract rules. Anna is the cash in contract winner. So her, every time she gets a correct answer, it is double points. So Ryan, if you get it correct, it's three. Anna, if you get it correct, it's six. Oh. All right. Oh. Don't worry, Ryan. <laughs> uh, you know, if I go out, you know, you I just, I love crazy <laughs> stuff like this. I love a good challenge. No. I'm All right. sit in my chair like L right now. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. No time limit. I have eight movies. You guys have to buzz in and tell me what the movie is. We buzz in with our names? Yes. Buzz in with your name. Do not buzz in with the guess. Buzz in with okay. your name. All right. First movie. In the 1940s, a young boy named Blank attempts to convince his parents, teacher, and Santa Claus that a blank really is the perfect Christmas gift. Ryan. Ryan? 
A Christmas story. That is correct. Three points to Ryan. Next question. A miserable con man and his partner poses Santa and his little helper to rob department stores on Christmas. Ryan? Bad Santa. That is correct. Bad Santa. Next movie. A grumpy hermit catches a plan to steal Christmas from the Who's of Whoville. Ryan. Anna. Ryan? That is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Next movie. A boy who has had a bad Christmas accidentally summons a festive demon to his family home. Ryan. Ryan? Krampus. It is Krampus. Next movie. When college friends reunite after 15 years. Ryan. Ryan? The night before. That is not the correct movie. Sure. Anna, he buzzed in early. I can finish it for you. I mean, sure. <laughs> when, when college friends reunite after 15 years over the Christmas holidays, they discover just how easy it is for long-forgotten rivals and romances to be reignited. Anna. Anna? The Friends Holiday Special? I don't know. <laughs> That's not correct. Okay, next one. The classic Disney animated characters play the roles in this animated retelling of the Ryan. Charlie Dickens masterpiece. Ryan? Is it uh, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas? That is not the correct movie title. Anna? Um, Donald's? Once Upon a Christmas? Six points to Anna. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just got so excited. Next film. An angel, <laughs> comes, to, an angel comes to Earth to help a preacher save his church and his family. An angel comes to Earth to help a preacher save his church and his family. Anna. Anna? The angel and the preacher... That's not the correct <laughs> Ryan? I have no idea. Uh... She's not getting points either this round. I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to say Twilight. <laughs> it's not Twilight. <laughs> Last film. If Ryan gets it, he keeps the title. If Anna gets it, we go into sudden, sudden death. What? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mabel dispenses her unique form of holiday spirit on a rural town when she's coaxed into helping a friend pay her daughter a surprise visit in the country for Christmas. One more time. Ma Miss Mabel dispenses her unique form of holiday spirit on a rural town when she's coaxed into helping a friend pay her daughter a surprise visit in the country for Christmas. I'm going to play Russian roulette. Ryan. Ryan. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, and something is so delightful. <laughs> let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I that that's my guess. Points. That is incorrect. Oh. I was rooting for you with that one. <laughs> I, will say, I will say it again for you. I am just pulling up a uh, <laughs> generator really quick. I'll say it one more time for you, Anna. Miss Mabel dispenses her unique form of Christmas spirit on a rural town when she's coaxed into helping a friend pay her daughter a surprise visit in the country for Christmas. Help her friend surprise her daughter in the country on, and her name's Mabel? Miss Mabel. Miss Mabel. That is what the song um, a um, we're gonna, we're gonna say, um, a uh, Christmas time of cheer. That is not correct. Oh, okay, very good stuff, you guys. Very, very good fight. Very good fight. But unfortunately, the cash-in was not successful. We still have unfortunately. our quiz club champ, Ryan. Very good stuff, Ryan. Very good stuff, Anna. Anna, I appreciate you logging on. I know it's so late over there. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> it is past midnight. So, Anna, thank you so much for joining on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank I, you. Uh, I I love the challenge, and I love the oh my gosh moment. Uh, yeah, so th thank you. Had to, had to add some drama in there. Anna, yeah. Anna, get some sleep. You get you get some rest there. You get some rest there. We'll see Bye, you guys. next time. Congratulations, we'll see you next time. Ryan. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Just hyping up Anna a little bit. She is, I will say, even though she lost the contract, she is 
one half of the Quiz Club Tag Team Champions with India. They did dethrone Jake and Caden. Sorry about that, Jake. Um, but very good stuff, Ryan. Very good stuff. You took took home the dub today. Thank you. Thank I, you. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get your, your views on it. Uh, lastly, I'm going to go to our champ first. Our, our ex-champ, I shall say. Michaela. How is that? <laughs> Michaela. <Damn>. Wow. <laughs> Michaela, how was today's episode for you? How how was that? How was that for you? It was it was tough. <laughs> it was a rough start, and as soon as I heard the fourth round announced, I knew it was over. I'm yeah. not good. It's it's not my round, and it's Ryan's round. The only, I'm good at uh, survival games. That's my my round. That's true. Yeah, you were really good, Ben. But because yeah. I listened in my head, but I'm not good at improving. So I. <laughs> props to ryan like not everyone can do that true true very good stuff though michaela you absolutely killed it crossed the 100 mark at 103 points one of really three people to do that i think the only people to do that in a solo quiz club i know jake and caden did it in a tag team was ryan matthew and you to pass really? 100 i could I be wrong just ryan... Play with ryan and matthew so much it just seems like the norm yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can i can double check for you but i think in a solo quiz club, it's just Ryan, Matthew, and you who've passed 100. Ryan, it, have you played a quiz club without me in it? I, maybe the... No. <laughs> no, I don't I was, think so. I, I don't think so because, you know, I went into it and Matthew had the championship and then you had it at the end. So, yeah, every single time I've played, you have been a contestant. Okay. Yep, that, that is... Also, I just checked. You, Ryan, and Matthew are the only people to cross 100 solos uh but you're one of five because jake and caden passed in tag team so very good stuff uh also we introduced last episode love o'clock this is the little uh, section of the quiz where we get to talk about uh one positive thing uh whether it be personality whether it be just the aura that they bring about each person so uh since we started with michaela uh we'll talk about one thing love o'clock for michaela i'll start us off um Michaela, I'll try to I'll try to say something new every episode. Okay. Um, I, I last episode I definitely did talk about how I loved your competitive nature and I loved the energy you bring. I will say your knowledge and like grasp of everything that is like my what's the word my interests. Like it's just it's so good to have a friend like that who like absolutely loves what I love. Like the fact that you have an infinity war poster right behind you, like I have that poster at home. <laughs> so yeah. I, I love the fact that you, uh, you, you definitely love the stuff that I love. Maybe that's a little, a little selfish thing. Love a clock, but, uh, I, I love that about you. I love that about you. Uh, Jake, any, any words for love a clock for Michaela? Michaela, I respect how you were out shopping probably for Christmas and you were like, no, 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 quiz club's on. I'm going to drive home right now. Yeah. Forget about you, all my family. God, Just throws the entire uh, shopping. What are they I, called? I just throws the whole thing and just I runs. I left through. all the books I was going to get on a shelf. I feel so bad because they have to restock those. <laughs> Oh, parkour's no. down. It's, it's a three-story place. Parkour's down each one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. I do appreciate that, though, Michaela. I, I was like, really, I do not want to be bothering you right now. But yeah, I appreciated you. I, I felt so bad. The thing is, it even crossed my mind, hey, I should text Dante and make sure that it's not <laughs> happening today. I'm like, he's always been good at texting me and confirming. Yeah, the, the one day. The one day. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Uh, Ali, any any words for Michaela? Anything positive? Love o'clock. Um, don't know you very well, but I do appreciate the wealth of knowledge. The just like of like all sorts of different kinds of topics. Uh, whether it be like mute. <clears throat> oh, my voice. Like music and actors, actresses, that kind of stuff like that. It's really helping me. Uh, I guess expand and broaden my knowledge, which is good by me. I agree. Yeah, this is the best group to do it, and Michaela's probably the best out of all, all of us to do that with. So, uh -huh. yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Ryan, any any words for the love o'clock for the old champ that you took the title from? <laughs> Michaela, I've had many rivals throughout my years. <laughs> I've had a drama club rival. I've had a Pokemon Go rival. <laughs> Not kidding. And I'll say he is probably the most intense I ever had. But Michaela, 
you are one of my favorite rivals to go up against. You are every time we get into something, especially when you say, you know, like survival games and stuff, I'm like, okay, I'm going up against Michaela on that. I, I love the challenge you bring to this game. And so like one day I want to beat you at that game because <laughs> like, it's like, Oh, okay. Um, I love a good challenge and you are a challenge through and through and one of my favorite rivals of all time. Thank you. I love that. Love that. Nice. All right. Uh, Ali, how was, how was today's episode for you, man? I was a little worried after we got a couple rounds of zeros. <laughs> I was a little worried, but you, you battled it out. How was that? Were you feeling that you were, you weren't going to score any points by any chance? <laughs> Pretty poor performance, but uh, it happens. You know, it's, it's, I'm, it's, it's clear uh, i'm sure four episodes in for my appearances at least i think it was right four episodes yeah um, today's your four yeah, today's your i am point, yeah. not the most well versed in this kind of trivia you give me trivia of like i don't know video games or something i'll probably smoke all of you um <laughs> but like who knows who movies knows? and whatnot that's not really my thing i try my best i put my best foot forward give a good show you know i thought i did a decent decent job here so you did pretty uh, good that's all that's all i really care about is having a good time and I, exactly I had a wonderful time. Ollie, exactly i will say ollie uh out of because i have a track of everyone's lowest score that they scored in a game and highest you're not in the bottom five so that's something to hang your hat on that's something <laughs> to hang your hat on <laughs> 21 is not the lowest in the top bottom five uh Cal, the the record is Calwin with ten. He had the lowest. Jake almost Jake almost passed that with twelve one day, but we won't talk about that. We, we, won't, we won't talk about that. Uh, love a clock. Love a clock for Ali. Uh, I will say, um, back to the days when Ali absolutely hated me in middle school. Uh, look <laughs> look where we at now. Uh, I genuinely have always loved uh, your presence, Ali. Um, with the big group that we used to have, you were the person I would always go to. You were always the level headed. Um, one, I, I'm very into like Zodiac stuff. I had a roommate who was really into it at, at the time. So, uh, you being the Aquarius just makes so much sense. I, I usually attract Aquarius as, as friends. Like they're just like amazing people all around. They're so friendly. Um, so outgoing. And I really appreciate that from you. Uh, you definitely brought the breath, the best parts of me, uh, through high school. So I really appreciate you, man. Yeah. Love o'clock Michaela for, for Ali. So today with the, the team up with you and Ryan, I, I appreciated how you, <laughs> you, took, you you took the ones you didn't know and you supported Ryan and his decisions. Like it's easy to like start an argument instead of going with the yeah, flow sure. and believing that you're the one who knows it and sticking to your guns with it. So I do appreciate how you supported Ryan and that teamwork efforts there. Agreed, agreed. Jake? I, I like that Dragon Ball Z shirt you got going on. I was <laughs> kidding. So I was going, well, who's showing us Ball Z? But you were just leaning forward, and I was like, oh, wow. I, uh, <laughs> I did watch Dragon Ball Z growing up, and I love anime. Anime is one of the things I feel like I'm oh, waiting I for Dante too. to throw an anime topic in there. I do. If, if he gets an anime topic, I might actually get some points. Do you know? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But, um, uh, <laughs> I just started like reading the manga for Dragon Ball and finished it, and now I've gone to Dragon Ball Z because I didn't want to watch all of that. So I wanted to catch what? up one way or another, you know. But, but Dragon Ball is so good, like the original series. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to watch Dragon Ball Super when I catch up. so many peeps, though. What was that, sorry, Ryan? Filler can sometimes deter someone, though. Well, yeah, well, that's why Kai exists, and Dragon Ball itself that's doesn't fair. really have that much filler. But Kai, yeah, I understand, but or Z, I understand, but. You have Kai for that. That's <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Nice. Love... All right. Love me, Ryan? love me an anime. Give me an anime topic, man. All right, Ali. <laughs> I must apologize first because going into the round, I'll admit I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there were times where I didn't know, and when you suggested stuff, I rolled with it because I'm like, if I have no clue, Ali might know. And even if he's guessing, I still want to, you know, make sure he's equal part in it. Um, that being said, you are a very chill guy. You are a very cool guy. And the fact that you keep coming back 
and just to have a good time and stuff. I know some people, they give up if they don't think they're good at something. Hell, even after for one time. And the fact that you yeah. keep coming back just for the good time is very, very respectable. I agree. I mean, you, you, you'd be surprised by the wealth of knowledge that I possess. So I, I, <laughs> hopefully I, I'm able to surprise you with like a, a random tidbit here and there. <laughs> so I will say the video games and animes, those are good ideas. Maybe maybe future Quiz Club coming soon. Maybe. Uh, that will not be my day. <laughs> I, know, I know a bit about anime. Like, Ooh. I'd say more than a wee, but like, I know. <laughs> Look at my revenge for not that. a new. Give, 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 give me, give me, an anime topic. Give me a, give me a video game topic. Okay, I, okay. I, I swear I'll put some numbers on the board. I got a couple anime fans on the, uh, on the list, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Jake, how was today's episode, man? I know we, we, you know, been trying to cling at the championship. We got the tag strap. That's okay. I know you're I mean, here to have had, some fun, man. You know, I had a great time. We had it was a great competition. It was competitive all the way. It was very exciting. I had a good time. As, as usual, as usual. Uh, back to the love o'clock stuff. I'll start as well. Uh, Jake, I'm going to keep going to art, man. Like, you were always – you actually – this is like a, a tidbit into what I was telling Jill the other day. You were the one person on set that was just a bright light of, like, you wanted to learn, but at the same time you were there to have fun. And I, I really saw that. It was weird from a director's standpoint because I'm, like, obviously trying to oversee everything. And it was really nice to see that you were, like, focused – zoned in but you were also having a good time like that that scene we did with with uh other ryan uh was it yes ryan melger is that his name we'll cut that out uh <laughs> the scene you did with the with the uh body uh the bodyguard oh yeah the yeah, chloroform yeah. yeah that scene yeah. like it was just funny to see you zone in but also like having a good time so like i appreciate that you can have a great time but also get the job done so i, I appreciate that appreciate Thank that you. yeah ryan we'll start with you man Love a clock for uh, for old Jake. All right, Jake. I've only known you through Quiz Club, but you've given me one of my favorite moments in this uh, show, which is like the counter. Because I knew when you had it and wanted to transfer over, that is like such a fun thing to do. And I know, and I knew that was the right strategy. And I will never downplay someone for doing a great strategic move against me. Uh, <laughs> So I love the aggression you have in there and everything. Um, well, not aggressive, like toxic aggressiveness, but like aggressive, like, no, nah, I'm going to get this. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. You know, we come back and everything. Like, I love, I love the energy and vibe you give off. And I love how you play this game. Agreed. Thanks, man. Ali, love a clock for uh, Jake. Um like with Michaela, don't know you very much, bro. But I love the semantics. The semantics. He's just like getting into the nitty gritty to try and like tear away. Like I know I was against you on the on the reindeer thing, but like it's it's I, it's hilarious. I love like, it's I love the semantics. It's really funny. Just trying to just trying to like claw and grip and tear away at whatever you can. That's very resourceful, which is which is awesome. I, I love that. Agreed. I agree. Michaela, love o'clock for old Jake. Yeah, so I have a hard time sometimes remembering to have fun. <laughs> uh, but it always seems like you're having a great time. No matter, even yeah. in that last round when it's super competitive, we're all really, really close together in score. Even when we're trying to take down Ryan, you're just having fun. Saying maple syrup six times. I love that. <laughs> like, you're you have fun and sometimes i forget to have fun so i appreciate that you always have fun thank you i agree yes i agree always having you a blast jake it, it, i don't want to tire you out too much because there was a point where we had caden on for like 13 episodes in a row <laughs> so i won't do that but uh i definitely love having you here so that's always appreciated good old ryan wayne folk man you had the champ you you are the champ i shall say yeah. it's a, it a good time for me to to throw that by boy yep you are the champ right two-time champion uh as of what i know you are the you are only one of four people so not too bad you share it with uh sorry no five people kaden kai michaela matthew oh no sorry four no you 
You of five. One of five. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I was. my math was co- terrible over there. Um, but yeah, one of five. Uh, you know, always having you a blast here, Ryan. Uh, I really appreciate it. How was today's episode for you, man? Were you kind of worried there? And then once Quiz Club Minute came up, what did you um, think? <laughs> I would say me going into this in general. So this is like the one time I didn't study. I've just been so busy and I knew I had this coming up and you're like, you know, there's so many things that's randomized. Yeah, I can study holiday stuff, but I know I'm not the best remembering things fully. So I was just going to be like, you know, I'm just going to come on here and do my best. Be good TV or webisode. Yes. Um, and then playing this and how it was super close. And even when it was uh, quiz club minute, I did think, huh, I wonder if that'll come up to, Day, and I did think, <laughs> would Elf be a part of it? Yeah. Um, funny enough, I'm not making that up. Um, <laughs> and then I loved like how it happened, and it was like a big chess match at the end. Even though I lost that, that would have been like super, super cool, um, like epic um, thing. Because like we like making our endings interesting and stuff yes. like that. And so like this fight was so awesome. And then the surprise at the end. I was like, ooh, this is fun. Uh, the, the double points thing had me a little nervous in the back of my head because, like, you know, if I get four right, she gets three, she automatically – or even if yeah. I get five and she gets three, you know, I, like, had to really be dominant in that. And, uh, you know, she – she, you know, she gave that challenge and there was, like – some that I didn't know. And then she got the one right. Um, yeah. I was know. like, oh, okay. <laughs> so like, I may, I could be screwed because the last two I just couldn't figure out. Um, I don't even know. What was uh, the college friend one? That one was, um, was it the one she said? Yeah. No. A, um, the one she got was Donald. Uh, the best man holiday, I, I think I remember. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I liked the challenge of it. And then, uh, you know, it was really cool. And uh, I love Christmas. Clearly, I own. Um, it's part of uh, it's what I do two months out of the year is put up Christmas lights. So, you know, getting to celebrate and enjoy the Christmas thing is always fun. Of course, of course. I will say that cash in. I was, I was excited. I was nervous. I feel bad. Anna was de- very tired. It is 12:45 over there, so she was she was tired. She was like, she let me know. I think a few days ago, she was like, "Hey, I'm thinking about cashing in." I was like, "Because oh! <laughs> she's been she's she won that like s- like six episodes ago, so she's been holding on to it for a minute. So she's been waiting to cash it in. But um, yeah, I was really excited to have you here, Ryan. Love a clock. I'll give it to you. Um, I really appreciate your dedication to when you're joining on. Like some people, they just join on. They have a good time. And that's always welcome. I appreciate you dressing up as Negan for Halloween. I appreciate you dressing up for Christmas. Like, that shows so much to me. I absolutely love it. Um, and that's that's a really good trait to have as a person because it means that you've come with 110%. So I love that. I love that for you, Ryan. Thank you for being you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Ali, love a clock for, uh, for old Rye. Uh, love the sweater, by the way. Star Wars. Good stuff. It is a good sweater. Um, I love but, that sweater as well. But, um, but on top of that, uh, like with the previous two, don't know you very well. Um, <laughs> but I do. I, I don't know, bro. It's like it's something about like you're. You know a lot of stuff, and it's amazing hearing you talk because like you, it's insightful into every every topic you talk about, everything that you are interested in. You have a lot of to say about which is always a, is really refreshing to to hear i love talking to people who know what they're talking about who are interested in what they're uh, in these kinds of things and are able to like articulate and explain themselves everything which it's like i said i love talking to people like that because i kind of get myself in that way with like certain topics of myself so it's always just nice to uh relate to some to yeah. other people that are like that Thanks, man. Like that, yeah. All right, Jake, love o'clock. You know, I appreciate you were telling us how you were like putting up Christmas lights for a very long period of time, and you know, just from an outside perspective, man, I always appreciate Christmas lights just in general and your Christmas yeah. spirit to go out and, and do that because it takes hours, you know, hours and time that yeah could be, you know, chilling that you're out there 
you know, like Chevy Chase in uh, National Anthem's Christmas. Yeah. Vacation. <laughs> we in every bulb. I, I sing uh, "Joy to the World" if it's like a very hard hang, and then like I'm like, "Yes, we finally got it up. Everything's working." <laughs> so thank you, thank you for doing that. Thank you. All right, last love o'clock, Michaela for Ryan for your arch nemesis. <laughs> nemesis i would say rival is the better word yeah Uh, i definitely feel challenged every single time i know you're going to be on the episode i didn't know you were going to be on today and you know sometimes i'll open the browser and be like oh (laughs) just a little (laughs) little i just know my work's cut out for me i think we have very (laughs) similar levels of knowledge like some of us honestly any single given day it's luck of the draw to see like what rounds are going to be yours versus mine. And uh, yeah, just um, someone to keep that competitiveness. I'm a competitive person. All my friends in college I met through playing board games and strategizing and that kind of stuff. So I, I tend to gravitate towards people who match me in competitiveness. Uh, and you do a very good job at that. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You definitely do. I, I, right. I now, that. love o'clock for Dante. <laughs> That's what Jake tried to do last week, man. Come on, man. We don't got to do that. We don't got to do that. No, we do. We do. Um, uh, I'm going to steal host for a sec. Um, <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's Christmas. Go we got to share the love. That's true. That's true. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right. So I'll start. Dante, man, you're a very ambitious fellow, um, and I always appreciate that. First time... Well, I knew about you before I even met you with, you know, 8-Ball and like the fact that you were making this and also, you know, a lead in that too for 8-Ball and everything. You know, I'm like, that takes dedication um, and, and, you know, working so hard to get all that out. Um, And then when I met you and stuff and um, at the premiere, um, that was super cool. And just getting to know you and then uh, being a part of Quiz Club, you know, and you being always a great host and host and stuff as i always approach the end of the year i look at like the good and the bad of each year and dante meeting you was definitely a really good good i appreciate that man i appreciate it that means a lot i appreciate Thank it you. cool all right i'll, I'll, all I'll right. go we're uh, gonna go no, i'm just gonna <laughs> no i'll go i'll go all right, uh, all right. i i miss having you at work like, I know. <laughs> that, that used to be like such a high point when I would see you on the daily. And I know at least get to talk about something fun for at least like just a little, little bit. Uh, but yeah, similar to what you said, we're into a lot of the same things. And that always leads to interesting conversations. There's not many times where you can talk to someone about multiple different topics and not get exhausted. Uh, and I really appreciate that whenever I have a conversation with you, I always know it's going to be an interesting one. We always have to like cut each other off as well. We're like, we're talking for too long. We got yes, yeah, yeah. to go to work. We have to get back to work. <laughs> yeah. When Marvel conversations end up going forever. Yeah. Uh, those There was a few ushering shifts I worked with you and those were my favorite because we could pretty much talk <laughs> uninterrupted. Uh, yeah. But yes, anyways, always, always enjoy talking to you. Miss talking to you at work. Uh, yeah, that, that's a i appreciate you i appreciate you michaela i'll be back soon don't you worry don't you worry i'll be back and i i really appreciate dante how you call this together every week and yet you're not a player and so i mean for me it feels like a lot of this is like if if for us i mean i know it's fun probably being the host but like i know that you envision yourself out here trying to compete with (laughs) us but you know you you can't because you know we don't got another host yeah that's You're true that's true <laughs> so you know thank you for for doing this active service for us and you know and whatnot every for week. sure man of course i love doing it for you guys like this is fun for me obviously i love to play but watching you guys have fun brings joy to me so i love that love that cool all right i guess it's fine with my turn <laughs> <laughs> um by the way, Don, you got it wrong. I hated you since elementary school. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right. So, yep. Wrong school. Uh, wrong, wrong school. <laughs> That's right. That's um, right. But no, fifth for grade, real, though, grade. like, yeah, fifth grade. Uh, you're my brother, and I will always appreciate you and no matter what. Um, so I just got to say from the bottom of my heart, thanks for everything you've done, you know, being there for me during times where it's not very, like, the, the easiest to go through. 
Um, so knowing that you're always there, you're always there for me. You're, you're by there at my side. Like if I ever need to ask you for something, advice, whatever the case may be, you're there and I can always turn to you. Um, it's definitely good knowing that, you know, you got, you always have someone, uh, on your side. Um, uh, so just wanted to, as the year comes down, gets, days are getting shorter, days are getting colder, throw out my appreciation to the people who are able to keep me warm. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. You were like the one person out of everyone I have currently friends with that, that you, uh, we've been, we've been sticking, you know, through thick and thin for about 10 years now. So I appreciate <laughs> yeah, you, man. For sure, appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate you're still around. So cool. I'll try uh, to be. Was a, was a very fun episode i appreciate the love o'clock at the end i didn't want you guys to do that but even if you did i appreciate it i appreciate it always uh very good stuff you guys want to say goodbye to the recording so we can say goodbye to each other bye Bye. quiz club 32 have a good night